<clears throat> Actually, I got to turn my mic my, 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 my up real quick. What's going on, everybody? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics. <clears throat> and I, I hope everybody's having a really good day today. Uh, we are here for affordable auction number 40. And uh, got a really great panel <clears throat> line up tonight. Um, I know they got some good books. We've been talking about it already. Got a pretty diverse uh, uh, group of books, to be honest with you today, in my opinion. So... Uh, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and just kind of get the fun stuff out of the way and go over the rules and everything. Um, you guys know how we do. Um, but actually, to be honest with you, before we do that, give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. We do want to get that uh, algorithm running and uh, like and share and, and, and post and all that stuff. Uh, if you haven't already, I do appreciate it. Um, all right. So rule number one, guys, uh, this channel's content. You guys got to be 18 years or older. Um, this isn't something where you have to get your parents' permission or whatever. We just want everybody to be 18 years or older. This 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 channel and this content is not for kids. Uh, shipping cost is going to vary. Um, typically, it's going to be like priority first class, and some sometimes they offer free shipping. But for the most part, the guys do priority, and that could range anywhere from eight nine to, to fifteen sixteen dollars, depending on what you're buying. Um, international shipping. I, I know that almost everybody here is willing to ship internationally, as long as you guys understand that the cost is going to be higher, but even if it's to Canada, which is uh, our brothers just uh, just north of us, um, just as long as you guys are aware of that, I'm pretty sure nobody's um, against shipping internationally. Um, we're gonna have about a four minute timer with each person and uh, you're not gonna be able to see the, uh, the clock or anything like that, just because there is a lag between um, StreamYard and YouTube. It's usually anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds and maybe even longer depending on your connection. But uh, so this isn't really this, the, the platform for sniping. If you want to bid, we just ask that you just throw in a bid. Um, that being said, I'm not going to um, delete under bids anymore. And I do ask anybody out there already that has a blue wrench, don't delete the under bids. I, I don't mind it because as long as there's a bid, at least there's interest shown by the particular bidder. And we still want to have them in the mix as long as they, uh, an item is still up for auction. Uh, when the timer's done and only one person has placed a bid on an item, then that one bidder wins that item. Uh, if there is uh, two or at the time when the timer goes out, there's two or more bidding on an item, then it kind of goes into overtime. Uh, what does overtime look like? While in overtime, anyone can still bid after everyone has folded, then the item goes to the winner. So as long as there's two people in the mix on any item, Anybody who's bidded already can still be bidding, and anybody who has uh, uh, not bidded on an item yet can still come in and bid on an item if they want to, as long as there's at least two people bidding on a particular item. Um, we're, we usually have bidding in, in $1 increments uh, until we get up to $100. After that point, then it goes into $5 increments. This is really just to kind of speed things up because we'd be here forever if uh, – if uh, you know we did one dollar increments on like a five hundred dollar book or something like that, um, <clears throat> after you fold, you can no longer bid on an item unless the seller adds additional books, therefore changing the lot. Then you can come back in if you have already folded. Uh, if the seller adds any other books or items, and anyone can bid, including those who have already folded. If you're if you're a first time bidder, someone that we're not really familiar with, we may ask that you pay uh, immediately. Please don't take any offense to this. The purpose is to keep trolls from wasting the time of the sellers, the bidders, and others within this community. All right, we just want to respect everybody. Uh, each seller has their PayPal email located at the bottom left hand of the screen. It is also located in the video description below. So if we kind of get to moving hastily and kind of moving moving along pretty quickly, the PayPal emails of everybody is going to be in the uh, video description. Please send all payments to PayPal as friends and family or add 3% for goods and services. Sometimes guys forget and we may ask you to pay again the, the 3%. Sometimes we sell things for other people and we don't want to be uh, accountable for the any kind of fees or anything like that. Um, after you've won an item, please email your real name and address. Uh, let, actually, let me go back just for a second. Um, one of the strong points that I think I really want to make, guys, is that um, you guys are not paying any taxes. I know a lot of people want to. Everybody wants to avoid taxes, not just a lot of people. I think everybody wants to. And I think that we need to 
be mindful of the fact that when we spend five hundred dollars on a book, in some cases twenty five hundred, you can spend anywhere from an extra fifty to two hundred and fifty dollars just in taxes alone if you're buying something on eBay, Comic Link, Comic Connect, Heritage, anything like that. So please keep that in mind and uh, take advantage of the fact that this is a community and we're all trying to give deals to to everybody else and really just kind of uh, make the most and hang out with this awesome community that we're all a part of. And like I had said before, we just kindly ask that you, uh, actually we, 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 uh, we ask that you just send your real name and, and, and address or message a seller on Instagram. Um, I do have a, a person who won something from me last week. He paid for the item, but I still haven't sent his item out yet because he hasn't, he hasn't given me his name and address. Some of the guys don't mind if you put it in the PayPal notes. Um, some guys do. So this might be just kind of a case by case basis. But if you feel like it's just more convenient at the time to put it in the notes of the PayPal payment, then then go ahead. Um, but if you're mindful of the fact that some guys want it emailed or sent to their IG, please do that instead. Um, and like I said, this is just really to avoid any red flags from PayPal. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, let me go ahead and introduce this fantastic panel. Roman Curtis, if you're watching, bro, just stay in the background until Adam hops out. He's only going to be on here for a hot second. And then I'm going to bring you in. Um, that being said, we'll start with Adam since he was here first. Uh, what's going on, Adam? Hey, what's good, everybody? Hope everybody's having a uh, good night. Uh, getting ready for July 4th next weekend, hopefully. So, uh uh, yay, Josh Hizzle. There's your person right there. Uh, ah. um, so uh, anyway, uh, just a quick note for me uh, tonight. I'm pretty much only going to have uh, some buy it nows and maybe one auction slab, but I'm only going to be selling slabs uh, tonight uh, strictly because um, I still have there's probably one, two, three, maybe four five of y'all that I still have your books to send out people who bought lots. Um, I completely ran out of both legal mailers and Gemini's. Um, so I have both of those on order. Um, some of y'all, I may be like, uh, I may look at your address and if, if it's on the East coast, I may go ahead and just box it up in like a, a non weighted media or a, a priority box, but um, it's not Auburn. Um, but anyway, yeah, for the, those of you who are still waiting on books, I'm waiting on some supplies to uh, to get those out to you. And then but tonight it's easy enough to pack up slabs. So, uh, yeah, that's there what we're going go. with. Cool. Cool. Thank you, Adam, for being on board. Next, we'll go to the law man. HGM Law. What's up, Harold? Howdy, howdy, everyone. How's everyone tonight? Uh, Josh Hizzle, I do remember you. I'm checking to see if you bought anything for me. I'm not sure, but I I, I, will, I will let you know if, if that he, he might right. be talking about me. Actually, Josh bought something for me last week, and he paid, but I, I still need Josh's address. So, Josh, email me your address so I can get your uh, signed and sketched books out that you bought last week. Oh, well, I said in the chat he said last night, so that's why I'm saying. Ah, okay. I, I recognize the name, so I, I mean, I'll look, but, you know, I might know. Um, so tonight, just, uh, again, I hit 100 subscribers this week, so I am going to do a free giveaway. It's going to be a trivia question. Uh, it's just a matter of I did one last night and dude did it, so it's obviously not going to be the same question, but it's going to be, uh, you know, probably around round three or round four, I'll do it and uh, give a good book. So we're going to have a good night. All right, thank you, sir. Next, moving along to day three. They call him the man of many voices. He is our A lister. He had an appearance on Comic Book Men. What's going on, Adrian? Hello. Uh, good, good to be back. Um, I feel very cozy. You guys are, have a very warm, warm heart oh, feeling around this area. So, so thank you for having me. Uh, definitely gonna have some cool books. Got some lots. Maybe some indie, maybe some regular, maybe a slab or two, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned for some some great stuff. And uh, make sure you go subscribe to me because you won't be disappointed. And at 500 subscribers, I'll be giving away a couple slabs and a bunch of other stuff. So go check yeah, it out. for sure. Everybody sub everybody up, man. I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean that that I think I think I'm sub to everybody on the panel. If not, let me know and I will. Uh, but next, we'll move along to. Uh, uh, Green Arrow, uh, Justin, what's up, Justin? Hey, how's it going? 
Glad to be back. Uh, I have no clue what we're going to go through tonight with books, but there's a lot sitting over here ready to go. <clears throat> but good to be back. Great to be with this great panel here. If uh, Adam's Instagram has made me really sad this mm -hmm. weekend. Yeah. There's a lot of good yeah, books. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, chat's already going. So yeah, good to be back. Yeah. Um, I'll say something here in a minute after. Is who that still? Who that? Is he? Maybe okay, he I'm, I'm here for a second, but I can. Uh, okay. Up. Go ahead and just say hi. <laughs> Hello, hi, peoples. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some good buzz. It's gonna be fun tonight. Good to see all my guys here, man. So uh, I hope everybody's ready for some hip hop. There uh -oh. it is. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I got. So appreciate all right. it. Cool. No problem, man. All right. So um, that being said, real quick, guys, not just my Instagram, but make sure you follow everybody else. I think that a lot of people, especially Adam, Adam's got some heavy hitters up on his Instagram. Uh, check him out and check everybody else out. Um, he's got a daredevil number one and a few other um, very desirable keys. So uh, it's just uh, Instagram is much easier to do a post than do a whole video on YouTube. So please follow myself and everybody else over on Instagram. Uh, that being said, I'm going to move along to Justin so that he can kind of go and acknowledge some of the uh, wonderful chat members that's already uh, uh, cutting it up in the uh, chat. Justin, it's all you, man. Boom. All right. So, yeah, it looks like we've already got 72 watching, 74 watching. It's growing. So make sure you go ahead and hit like, uh, you know, because we want to get ahead of the algorithm, as it were. But jumping into the chat, who we got? Who we got? Ricardo900. Thanks so much, man. We got Hey Danger. Thanks for the warning. Uh, Hawaiian Punch 72. Bruce Zayas is here. He is actually Dr. Zayas. Uh, Retro Times, what's going on? Double A. AA, what's going on? Your local plumber's here. That's good to know because we all need a local plumber. Uh, let's see. Brian Madrigal, what is going on, brother? Good to see you. Jess O'Kelly. Bolo 368, what's going on, man? T Pain's here. What's going on, T Pain? Moonbase Alpha, still a great name there. I love that name. Uh, Robert O, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Urban Comics, thanks so much for joining us. Who else we got here? We got the comic book champ. What's going on, champ? Uh, all about movies and TV collecting, Blu-ray and DVD. What's going on? That is a long name, but thanks for being here. <laughs> Norse Cali, what's going on? Good to see you again. Better Ray Jim's here. Better Ray Jim has, has the best name because he's Better Ray Jim. Johnny Dakota. I like that name, too. I just like saying names, apparently. Uh, Tony M.I. Jr. was got choked on Tony. Tony, Tony, thanks so much for coming on, bike. Uh, let's see. Rob Boswell, XGI20, what's going on, brother? Steven Spock here. Live long and prosper. Live, uh, Steven Spock, good to see you. Who else we got? Marco's Big Droops 13. Thanks, man. That's a cool name. Let's see who else we got. Who else we got? I'm missing anybody. My bunch, Dakota. Let's see. And John, we trust us here. What's going on, John? Good to see you. Josh is with us. DLE Comics. Rob, Bob, or did I miss Bob? Rob, sorry. Rob. Uh, BWL is here uh, with us last week also. Thanks so much. Dragon Ball Talk. What's going on? Flash Ray Videos. Burke Family 54 Comics. Pi Pi 310. Man, people are coming in like crazy. Collectible paper. I like that. That's 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 a really smart name. I like that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Who else we got? Who else we got? Ted Martinez is back. What's going on, Ted? Uh, Red Matos. What's going on, Red? Good to see you. JMT, Lisa Noble, uh, Mr. Unknown Comics Guy, whoever that guy is. I don't know who he is. He's kind of unknown. Let's see. Who else we got? Zach G, Lisa Noble. Already said Lisa. We're caught up, fellas. All right, like I said, so we're at 77 when they're now at 40 likes. Go ahead and get us to 50 before we start, which will be just here in a second. Any Thor on the docket tonight? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Did you get, did you get everybody already? I think we also have uh, Nola Comics. What's going on? Thanks so much. But, yeah, that's everybody. All point. right, cool. Uh, and then, yeah, Josh Hizzy just emailed me, man, so I can get you your – in your address so I can get your stuff out to you. Wait, um, wait, there's one more. There's Underground Thundercat, because that is a cool name. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to... Uh, so we're going to hand it on over to Adam real quick, because he's got some buy nows that he wants to show, and then he's going to 
he's gonna pop out. Yeah, so I, may sell, I may sell one this first one, but um, anyway, yeah, I'll go real quick. So uh, and then I'll drop out and let Roman come in here. So my buy it nows, uh, most of these are on my IG. A couple of them are not, um, but um, so I have. Um, oh, is my camera all jacked again? Nope. You're good. Right. All right. Uh, so I have uh, Star Wars 42, 9.4, White Pages, uh, first Boba Fett, and also first Yoda in Cameo, I believe. Um, 225 plus shipping. Um, we have Fantastic Four, number one, the Bill Sienkiewicz uh, exclusive. Uh, 9.8 White Pages, signed by Sienkiewicz. That one's also 225 plus shipping. Um, if anybody out there wants to splurge on themselves, I have Daredevil number one, it's a 5.5 off white pages. Um, that's going to be 2500 That includes uh, fully insured uh, registered shipping to your door. Um, and then I also have uh, Strange Tales 110 um, off white to white pages. First of Appearance of Doctor Strange. Um, that one's going to be twenty-seven fifty. Again, registered mail, fully insured to your door. Um, and let's auction one off. What the hell, right? Uh, let's do this. We got uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one from nine eighteen. Um, it's a uh, Sanctum Sanctorum Collectibles uh, exclusive um, signed by Perillo right there. 9.8 white pages. Homage to what is it? Web of Spider-Man 1. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start at 10 bucks. Wow. All right. Before the bids start coming in, I want to give a shout out real quick to Rob Boswell. He gave us a uh, $2 super chat. Uh, he says, let's start the party out right. Thank you so much, Rob Boswell. I really appreciate it. You're, you're very consistent. <laughs> And uh, donating, and uh, I, I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you so very much. Uh, yeah, that was Josh Hizzle. That's the first appearance of Boba Fett, the Star Wars 42. What's the grade on your hat? This one's a lower grade just because it's not fitted. So, nice. okay. Okay. so we know what we're bidding on here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you're right now, you're bidding on, yeah, right now, you're bidding on this uh, amazing Spider Man one Sanctum Sanctorum collectibles. Um, 9.8 white pages, obviously yellow label, signed by Perillo right there. Homage to uh, Web of Spider-Man number one. All right, 25, uh, T-Pain right now. Josh Hizzle, the Star Trek, or Star Trek, geez. Star Wars is 225 plus shipping, so it'll be um, 241 total. Had some people inquire about it, but nobody actually claimed it yet. Steven Sparks at $33 for some Spider-Man. Thirty-five to T Pain. This is nine point eight or pfft, gee. Nine yeah, nine point eight yellow label for a steel. For thirty five dollars right now. What do you think? Oh yeah, this I'm definitely still in the uh, losing money territory here. Forty dollars to Strictly Comics. Bruce says, says Cam to Patriots. What's really? football? Wow. Oh yeah, what's football? <laughs> it's funny. Oh man, that is a really cool cover. I just want yeah. my I just want my college football back. Right. Ooh, Patriots. That's right, Cheetah. Yeah, um, I was trying to think of something else. This is the A cover. I think there was a maybe a Virgin B cover. I'm not sure. And then there was a um, a strange like um, it was like a it was like a San Diego Comic Con, and it it wasn't a Virgin cover. But the only difference was it had the old like uh, ah, like the box like, like the box up here, and that was all it was different. Other than that, it was exactly the same. Still had the the banner across the top and everything. Um, I 
That's right. That's right, Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. uh, Jeff, Jeff Silversmith, high bidder, $50. Nice. Um, what year did that come out, Adam? Because I, I see it's a number one. 2018. Okay. So okay. it's the current It's the current run. Yeah, Does it have a like 40 something? It's oh, it's a, a legacy number? It's a legacy number. It says it's Amazing Spider Man 802. So yeah, it's on, yeah, it's on the back. Yeah, it's on the front actually. Gotcha. Um, that's that's the oh, one. Yeah. oh nice. It's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So the guy who did uh Invincible, that's the one he started drawing, right? What's his uh, name? Brian Stegman? No. No, not Stegman. Uh, uh it's a uh, Nick Se Nick Spencer story, Ryan Otley, Ryan Otley. Uh, uh, Cliff yeah. Rathburn on art. Uh, and obviously it's a Perillo cover and you know, an homage to uh Web of Spider Man number one. Yeah, that's the beginning of the Otley run. Mm -hmm. 55. Jeff Silversmith. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is super cheap right now. Super cheap. Yeah. yeah. How long did you have to stand in line to get that SIG? Uh, I didn't. Oh, okay. This got purchased as it is slabbed. And then I've just kind of decided to get get a little bit away from uh, some slab comics. And plus, I uh, wanted to sell or some slab comics, some sign comics. And then, too, I, I'm just trying to, like, obviously, I would never don't really want to be selling a Daredevil 1 or a Strange Tales or 110. Mm -hmm. But trying to, trying to raise some funds for the dog. And also, uh, Daddy needs a new truck. No, you got to start out light, man. You don't want to get rid of all the good stuff. 62 currently to Ed Dean Comics and games. T Pain Fold. Oh, you're very welcome, Lewis. I felt uh, terrible that it took so long to, uh, to get to you. So you're very welcome. Uh. Thanks for dropping in, Dragon Ball Talk. Appreciate it. 65 to Nola. Yeah, I really like that cover. Yeah, it's even uh, like the detail on like the gargoyle is really bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, to think that it's painted versus, you know, uh -huh. something right. a lot of people do on computer these days, you know. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. I try, buddy. I try. <laughs> Nuclear blast. <laughs> JMT, yes, it is. It can be yours for the right amount of money. So the only thing that survives after a nuclear holocaust is uh, roaches and Adam's package books. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is anybody still in? Let's see. I, I got you. Nola at sixty-five, and let's see. Eddie folded. So Jeff folded. Jeff folded. Yeah, T-Pain I mean, folded. I folded. I... Steven Spock folded. Who else is doing this? I, I think it's no. I think it's Nola and Edwin. Yeah. Nola. And, all right, so Noah, that's uh, you, my friend. Uh, it'll be uh, seventy-five, eighty-one dollars, um, friends and family. And if you can send it to my PayPal, um, if you don't mind, sending the send me the payment, and then either uh, shoot me a uh, either shoot me an email at that same email address, or hit me up on uh, IG with your uh, your name and information. Just just don't put any notes in the PayPal information if you don't care. I'd appreciate it. All right, and then um, you want to show your buy nows one more time before you head out? Uh, yeah, I'll show them one more time. So uh, buy it nows I have are. Um, and I will try to watch the chat for a while, but I also like, I'll have to kind of, if anybody were to claim it on IG, I'd kind of have to get, you know, gauge who came first. And then let me know if you want to pop back in, we'll, we'll have you back in to show your, yeah, I'll, I'll, I, yeah, I'll hop backstage for an hour or so. 
Okay. Um, but uh, so we got Fantastic Four number one, nine point eight white pages signed by Bill Sinkevich. It's going to be uh, this his Doom. I think this cover was only available from his store. Um, so two twenty five plus shipping. Um, we got Star Wars. 94 or 94 42 9.4 uh first appearance of boba fett and i believe the first cameo of yoda uh, i don't think it says that but um 225 also plus shipping so plus 16 dollars shipping um daredevil this one includes shipping 2500 registered mail fully insured daredevil number one 5.5 and Strange Tales, uh, 110, First Doctor Strange. This one also includes registered shipping to your door, 2750. And what the hey, I'll throw up one more real quick. Um, if anybody wants it, I'll do this for 150 plus shipping. Uh, oh, yeah. Cat, Cat Woman 51, Adam Hughes, 9.6. Somebody might want that. Signed by, signed by Adam Hughes. I'll do 150 plus shipping on that. So, All right. And cool. Uh, cool. So if you want to drop me in the back, that's cool. I'll hang out in the chat for a while. All right, Adam. We're going to bring in Roman Curtis. Thanks, Adam. Uh-oh. See you, Adam. <laughs> See you, man. <laughs> All right. There he is, Roman Curtis. He's sleeping right now, but we're going to move it along to uh, HGM Law. <laughs> HGM Law, okay. the floor is yours, sir. Bizarre All right. Roman. So, um, Got three buy it nows. We're going to start with Omega Men number three, first appearance of Lobo. Very high grade. We're going to do this at a hundred. Um, you know, I, I I have three of these, and I got a nine eight and a nine six. So I'm not planning on slabbing a third. So got that buy it now at a hundred. These next two are, are going to be 175. Venom 3, the third print. Mm. So we all know what that is. And as Rome would say, slab worthy. You know, and, and you know, this is 175. Honestly, you know, I'd rather you not buy because I'll send this off Tuesday and get get it done. But I figure, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge Venom fan. And so, you know, if you wanted to choose 175. And the third one is um, Eternals number one, CGC 9.2. He's also 175. Um, Newsstand, too, right? Yes, yeah. it is. So this is, you know, everyone's clamoring for this this book. Big book, 175, 9.2, Eternals, number one. Again, you know, when it came out in the 60s, I didn't read it then. So, you know, I tried to read it now. I was just like, eh, you know what? Hey, you know, <laughs> I got this at my LCS, got a clean and press and sent it off. And this one came back. So here we go. For the auction, we're going to... Do a Thor Bronze Age lot, and I want to say it's uh, five books. I'm start. I'm gonna start off with ten bucks. I'll do when you're getting you know, muted. And it'll Sorry. be uh, should be able to do it. Um, Nine dollars shipped. So we got Thor two eighteen. We got Thor two twenty. Thor two twenty one. Got a Hercules appearance. This is a Decent money book. Grades are all from um, very good to fine. Thor 223, also another. Uh, Hercules is also in this one. And then Thor 227. As you see, real, real nice cover. Got this one, I think, is a, I want to say mid grade. Got a couple spine ticks. Other than you know, yeah, corner is an issue, but other than that, you know, really sharp colors pop really nicely. So, like, not to cut you off, law. How much was that? Uh, Eternals because uh, Brian's accent in chat 175. 175 for the Eternals. So, again, 
All right, what's the starting bid on your Thor lot? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. All right, I'm gonna step away for a second. I got the timer going. I stated really good, you know, good quality, and nice, beautiful drawing. Henry Jim is in for ten. You know, so we got two twenty. I was waiting to hear Exile State in for ten. <laughs> I, I would. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can tell when, like, you know, somebody if they don't have them in the collection. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, I definitely been. Two twenty one again. Pins of Hercules. You know, someone, someone, someone put in there wanted some Thor and wanted Bronze Age, so I was like, okay, fine. I can start and those are Milo. Are those are Milo. Huh? Those are Milo. I, they call them my lights. Oh, my lights are. Right. Well, it's yeah. worth. Uh, well, it's, it's worth it just for the my lights, people. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen to in God we trust. You know, I, I I find that you know, they just they just put a nice little look on your books. You know, yep. they, turn they, a two point oh to a ten point oh. You know, yeah. You know, I wish you could do that, but. How much was the venom? You got a venom? Yeah, buy it now. Venom for one seventy five. Uh, one hundred seventy five. Uh, Urban Comics. Yeah, the venom. Yeah. Said it was high grade, slab worthy. Absolutely. The the what's his third that book third print? Yeah, yeah the no and slab. Yeah. Like I said, hey, I will send it off Tuesday if no one wants. It. Not a problem. I'll, I'll I'll chase that high nine. And if I get it, you know, hey, I never, I never, say, I, never say, I never say no to a bet to a, to a great comic. Twenty to bed rage jam. All right. So again, two twenty. I don't know where I'm getting this glare from. I don't know if it's my TV or. What it is. Probably just from the light in the room. That those my lights and my lore and all. Yeah, that they stuff pick is, up all kinds. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Uh, Oh, actually, this is bouncing back on my computer screen. That's what it's doing. Okay. Free glare included. That's right. <laughs> you know, I, I was telling somebody, I said, usually back in these days, you had action covers where they always take some some scene from the, from the story and try to engage you. And also from the 70s, you always have the damsel down below, underneath the feet of somebody. Beneath the man. Yes, wanting to be rescued. <laughs> <laughs> I tell, I, I, look, look, look at Conan 1. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exact same thing. Yep. The woman's right there on the bottom. Please help me. Help me get rescued. You cannot find. I mean, Spider Gwen would not be doing that for anybody. But that's how it was in the 70s. And that's what you did. That's what they did. Helpless, helpless lady. <clears throat> Still some time on the clock. So it's a Bronze Age Thor lot, right? Bronze Age, look like bronze and silver, right? No, no, no silver. All bronze? Okay. Yeah, all bronze. All bronze. Very nice. Yeah, it's very good. How lot. many issues? Five issues. Dang. Five issues. It's got to be worth more than $20. It is, but someone's going to get a good steal. I mean, like I said, I, you know. Like I said, I, you know, I went to my garage and pulled them out. You know. We have no one's folded yet. Nope. Anybody can still get in on this, guys. Uh, Beta Ray Jim has it at 20. And John We Trust at 21. Appreciate the bid. And John We Trust. Does anybody else want to go 22? It's five issues of Bronze Age. Your local plumber's in at 25. All right, the plumber's here. The got plumber. the plumber. I mean, like I said, you know, you got. I I, I look at this. I look at that arm that's holding the, the Mjolnir. And I'm like, man, I can't get my arm to look like that. <laughs> I, you know, I wish I could. I was like, you know, you stand. I mean, you're a 13 year old boy, and you're standing there going, "I want my arm to look like that." And you push it out. Mm -hmm. Can't get those muscles. That was the thing, because I was like, he had the muscles, you know. 
Thor thing. I was like, yeah, I want, I want to be Thor. And I was like, I didn't want to be Don Blake. I don't want to be him, but you know, golden locks and the muscles. Hey, that's how Thor was. Call me golden locks all day if I look like that. What do you say? I said you can call me Goldilocks all day if I look like that. <laughs> Got that right. Yeah. Beta Chris rate. Oh. Call that all day now. So. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, see now again the costume of the lady, just hilarious. Especially nowadays, you just go, man, you know. Can you can you see? Can I be the damsel in distress for Halloween, mommy? <laughs> Can I get that one? Get that costume? That'd be absolutely not. All right, so John, we trust is at 45. Your local plumber is that as that pass? Does that mean a fold or yeah, that's 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 his that's his fold. That's his fold. Okay. So I think it goes to in John we trust for forty five. Um, okay, appreciate that, uh, your local plumber. All right, so that's it. It goes to in John we trust for forty five plus shipping. All right, everyone else. So is that's gonna be fifty four. In John we trust. Put your shipping information in 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 the PayPal notes, and I'll confirm once I get it. Thank you. Cool. And uh, just a reminder, everybody's PayPal email is in the video description below. So we will go on over to Mr. Adrian APM. What's up, sir? Yo, um, i throw this one out there to start off something a little different. This is the uh, Battle Chasers number one from Image Comics, Chromium, <coughs> Virgin variant. Um, I'd say it's like probably very fine plus just because you know these kind of covers can get a little scratchy but it's it's nice um this is gonna be a buy it now at I'll, I'll do it at 65 buy it now so battle chasers from image comics number one chrome variant pretty sweet pretty sweet and that's a it's a wraparound okay and then for auction here, we're gonna we're gonna do a little X Men first appearance slash cameo themes. So, uh oh, you know, X Men, the beautiful X Men annual number fourteen, first appearance cameo, whatever you want to call it, of the Ray John K. Jones. He's gonna be real for you, there, huh? Yeah. Okay. To say first oh, appearance. I know, boy. I told that Louisiana stuff now. I don't want to hear it now. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to weed in. Oh, no, no, no. You like a crawfish on the road, daddy, mate. No. Oh, understand it, boy. I, I, I swing you around now. Keep it up there. Oh, I'm like a lightning bug in the sky. I'm coming Ooh, right in. <laughs> boy, come on now. Hey, you got something that's really from New Orleans in the panel. <laughs> I know. I know that. I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. Uh, so uh, this one, this is near me, guys. This, this one's the prettiest of them all. So, I mean, that's it's going to be the one you want anyway. So then we got right here, we got uh, first uh, Hope Summers. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. And then right here, we got the first Psylocke. These Dang. two, I'm going to put them at very fine. Yeah, I'll put them at very fine, maybe very fine minus, just to be safe, because uh, the this the annual on the back has like a little dent. I mean, it could be pressed out, but mm -hmm. let's just keep it at the safe grade. So those are those two. And we got the X-Men annual 14. That's near mint, you know. I can kind of show where's the uh, there you go. What's the starting bid? I'm gonna start at fifty, guys. All right, dang. All right, guys, fifty dollars starting bid. You got three keys. First, uh, uh, first apparent, first B, first appearance, whatever however you want to call it. First appearance of Gambit. First appearance, U.S. appearance of Psylocke, and first Hope Summers. Three issue key lot. Starting bid fifty dollars. Very nice. strong. <laughs> Very nice. Now that's that's psh, way worth it. Uh, he says it's a near mint, Officer Joker. The Gambit. He says near mint. Yep. yep. And then the uh, the New Mutants Annual and then the Hope First Hope Summer. He says we're like around VF. Yeah. 
Yep, I just want to be safe. You know what I mean? Just, I would like to be on the safe side. So. I'm gonna, put a, I'm gonna put a bid in on this if nobody else does here soon. <laughs> Shoot. Show that money book. Show that first gambit. He's near mint. And yeah. that, yeah, I'd show that I'd be showing that that yep, the gambit just keep cycling through because they're all keys. And then I know everybody wants that first Psylock too, that first US appearance of Psylocke. Nola comics in for 55, just for the accent. Yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Nola's in at 55. Lots like this. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Lots of time on the clock. Urban Comics is in at 60. Appreciate that, Urban Comics. Underground, you got to go a little bit more. Urban has it at 60 right now. That Gambit is heating up. Yeah. You guys see that, that uh, the Gambit fan, fan film that was made not that long ago? Mm -mm. yeah yeah oh man check it out on youtube but like they should take notes from that it's amazing <laughs> mm. it's only 20 it's only like 20 minutes but still you just makes you want the gambit <laughs> and and ha and they got eric roberts to be in it oh i know right like i was like yeah. oh look at that <laughs> Ooh. Mm. 65 from josh <laughs> you know what? You do got some nice eyes, sir. Wow! Wow! Okay. I didn't even notice that till like he till like uh, who, who was that? Josh Izzy. Josh, Josh Izzy pointed out. Yeah, I was like, you know, he does got some nice blue eyes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. AA is in at eighty. Alcoholics Anonymous is in at eighty. <laughs> you need to wink those eyes at Josh Hizzle now. <laughs> There you go. Come on now. <laughs> I'll also be everyone that gets stuff tonight. I got uh, extra books I'm throwing in. Uh, here. Where is it? Oh, God. <laughs> you, you guys, you just keep bidding. <laughs> I got a bunch of these. I don't know why, but you're going to get one of these two. Weapons of Mutant Destruction, number one, Alpha from Perillo. So yeah, that's going in there just because you're awesome. So. Okay. Josh for 85. Uh, what's Josh? Oh, Josh is he? Josh is at 85. Double A eighty six. Josh, please email me your address, sir, so I can get your books out to you. If he, <laughs> hang on, keep asking. I'm gonna just keep them books. All right, Urban Comics is in at ninety. Ninety five. Double A. Oh, okay, we got three people going for it. Okay. That's a good lot, though, man. Like it is, it is a good it, lot. Yeah. Plus, he threw in a book, so anybody that's forward already can come back in. Good job, Brian Madrigal. You are a multi-talented person. <laughs> uh, I mean, come on, Josh's eyes are worth a hundred dollars, baby. Come on now, <laughs> dude. There you go. Tell him uh, that blue eyes, and next thing you know, he you gonna call, call out. Come on, man! Ooh. You waiting for it and everything. <laughs> you know, what's, going on in the what's up, BWL? What you doing, baby? <laughs> what? I, Hopefully, you don't catch a cold. Uh, condition on the new moon's annual Jedi is about a VF. The VF for the first Hope Summers, VF condition for the 
New Moon's annual, and then uh, near mint for the first gambit, the uh, uncanny annual. Uh, Nola folded, double A folded. I think Urban is the only one still in. Urban Comics at 100. Oh yeah, yeah. So Joshua, yeah, I, I do remember you. I do remember you. You didn't buy anything last night, but you bought something from last week. Yeah, your email. Your, you, I don't care if you lost it bet or not. You need to change that email, baby. Yeah, you need to change that email. What's the email? <laughs> what, what, once you see it, you'll you'll start cracking up. I was oh, like, okay. this cannot be true. Wow, <laughs> wow. Let's just say the end of it should be polka dot bikini. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so hey, 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 hold it. Who, who's still in urban comics? And uh, I think that's it. Let me go up. Well, no, wait. oh, yeah, Josh folded. Josh is he folded. Did Underground Thundercat fold? Wait. Yep. So I think. I think that's it. I think it goes to Urban Comics for a hundred plus shipping. Stevie Swat wants to see the back back cover of the mutants. I don't know if he had put a bid in earlier or not. Yeah, it's already. Let me. I'll double check real quick. But I think it goes to. Uh, uh, did Nola? Did Nola fold? Yes. He yeah. did. Yeah. yeah guys, I think everybody that, folded. Yeah, it's gonna go to Urban Comics for a hundred plus shipping. If you guys want the uh, the auction to kind of just continue just throw in a bid uh, but once everybody folds it's going to go to the winner so uh, there's the paypal email at the bottom left and we'll go to justin next uh, start off with something fun i was going to and then like people started bringing the heat on the first round i don't even know what's up with that <laughs> All right, it's cool. It's cool. I'm still going to just ease on into it here. We got a uh, ten book lot of Wolverine. Wolverine ten book lot here, from twenty seven to forty five, all high grade. Starting at ten dollars, nine dollars shipping. So issue twenty four. This is like that cover. It's eight. Yeah. There, it's ten books. Eight of them are newsstand. Like I said, all high grade. Twenty seven, twenty eight. I feel like I sold those to somebody. 29. There we go. 30. Any blue, uh, blue wrench beat? Home slice? Yeah. Uh, did you say something? Go ahead and say something in the chat. Yeah, just did. 41. 42. Ah, 43. 44. And 45. And back to 27. So 27 through 45, 10 issues. Like I said, all but two of them are new stand, all high grade. That's it. Start at ten dollars, nine dollars shipping. Oh man, I'm tempted to bid on that stuff again. Yeah, this, <laughs> cover, this cover is just so good, you know. That's the money book. Yeah. If that if that book is a nine eight, which it, it's a two hundred dollar book. I what? sent that into CGC because I found it in my garage and they gave me a nine six on that thing. Those bastards. I was like, you got to be kidding. I'd send that junk right back. I got two of them in 9.8, and I sold them both for $200 each. I mean, as it sits, no press. I would... Oh, nine, nine four. I mean, it's... There's, there's nothing wrong with the book, but it could benefit, you know, just from being pressed, I guess. Yeah, it's... It, it and that's what's going to really mess GPA up is because I see this book on eBay at a little bit higher than what they should be in their newsstands. But because GPA doesn't always differentiate newsstand from direct, mm -hmm. some people might be looking at that thinking it's a big dollar book, but it is, but only in a newsstand. Lazarus Project, yeah, that's cool. This one's neat. Yeah. Uh, Adrian, you got somebody asking about the shipping. What was the shipping cost? Oh yeah, I put it above, but I'm sure he probably just missed it. So, uh, so head, comic head eighty four is in at fifteen. This is a really nice lot, guys. It's, you said it's a full run, right? Yeah, no, it's twenty. What was it? 
27 through 45. So there's some. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. 27 through 45. Thanks, Jack B. Uh oh. Sir, Shout out to Jack B. Urban Comics. I just put it in the, the chat for everybody. He says, for the cause, be safe out there. Appreciate that, Jack B. Legend would love your avatar. He's a big. Fantastic Four fan. Yep. All right, Daniel's in the house. What's up, Daniel? You got to go a little bit higher. Baz Clark has it at 30 right now. Lots of time still on the clock, everybody. <clears throat> yes. Wolverine. I mean, there was, you know, we might as well just continue the X-Men theme, the mutant theme here, right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's all we gotta do. Lords of the Long Box is here. What's going on, TiVo? Oh, okay. Well, TiVo might want to stick around later because I got some uh, Doctor Strange coming up later. Ooh. Not in the yeah. first round, Tim. Probably not the second round, but we're definitely yeah. in the third. Third if you haven't round. if you haven't seen Comically Flawed's Instagram yet, you need to go look at it because he's got yes. First appearance yes. of Doctor Strange up for sale right now, sir. Yes. Hey, hold on, hold on, right there. No, Justin, go back. Go back to that. Go back. Is, is that war? Is that like a? Is that Wolverine? It's like gold. Is that in gold on the front? The Wolverine. Is that like some kind of like second print or variant or something? Because I, I've never seen the. It, be it in gold. gold. Like that. Yeah. It must be that. Forty-one, and down at the bottom, it's in gold also. Yeah, that that's that's kind of that's uh, unusual. Yeah, it's not, yeah, not that common. I can tell you, I just looked it up. What? Yeah, I'd research Somebody's that. Somebody's getting a deal now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not, not going to open it, but they're getting a deal. Dang! All right, good call on that one. I didn't even notice it. Uh, Huda, you said that's a, like a second print or what? Yeah, second print gold cover. Oh wow! Oh. Okay. Oh. It's a ten dollar book by itself, basically. I guess I'm. I'm nice. I, just, I did a quick search. Yeah. Very cool. Did not even realize. Um, Daniel's at thirty-five. Uh, Tim, if you're interested, I got I think a uh, uh, Strange Sales one hundred and sixty and one hundred and sixty-four coming up later. So, just uh, FYI. All right. So Daniel's in the house at thirty-five. Bass Clark comes back at thirty-six. Big E's in the New York Warriors. <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I need that sound bite. All right, so Bass Clark is at 36. Taco Dan, a.k.a. Daniel Yabara, 35. But who else is still in this? We've had some folds. Underground Thundercast is folded, comic head folded. So really it's just between Baz Clark and Daniel Yabara, but anybody can still get in on this. Um until one of those guys folds. Baz Clark has it at 36. It's a Wolverine lot. And there's a iconic Jim Lee issue number 27, which is right there. And then we discovered a gold second printing of issue 47. 41. 41. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, this is a great book. Great book to have. Daniel Folds. Looks like it's going to Baz. To Baz Clark. Congratulations, Baz Clark. There's Justin's PayPal email at the bottom left. Yep. So, Baz, that'll be 45 total. We'll get these shipped out to you. Make sure you can send it in the notes or email me, but make sure that I have your address and I'll get these shipped out to you. They'll go out. Uh, all my books will go out either tomorrow or Wednesday or um, tomorrow or Tuesday at the latest. So, Thanks so much. much. Moving along to Huda, and then we'll go to Roman Curtis after him. Whoa. What's up, people? So, um, show a few by it now. It's got some slabs and some raw books, but. Uh, this one's been selling probably, I think, with $150 to $200, maybe more. 
Uh, so I got the Wonder Woman number, uh, Wonder Woman up. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Woman number one uh, by Michael Turner. This is a sketch. They only had, <laughs> had 250. I like only made, and I think only had 200 in the these boxes. Uh, so I'm just asking 150 dollars buy it now. I think the last one sold for 199. I'm not sure. But, it's a good. It's a good price, guys. I'll tell you that. Yeah, 150 buy it now. Um, also, this is a buy it now. We got Thor, God of Thunder number two, 9.8 white pages, $200. Uh, shipping for the flags are going to be 16 of all books, nine. Get over nine books, and you have to get a bigger box. But $200 for the first appearance of Gore, the God Butcher, and I think in the Necro Sword, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so 9.8 on that bad boy. So let's do a little. Spider-Man lot builder lot. Spider-Man builder lot, but it's Miles Morales Spider-Man. So this is the one in twenty-five variant. Uh, it is, I would say, high grade near mint condition. But first appearance of Evil Miles, one in twenty-five variant. I'm gonna start bidding at thirty dollars. Dang. A one in twenty-five. Yeah, it's, the one in fifty is like what, like over a hundred something dollars already. This one's like getting close. Mm. So, started off with some miles. Oh. Mike Bravo's in at forty-five. Appreciate that, Mike Bravo. Mike knows what this book going for on eBay. <laughs> no. So, so what 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 price do you add? Something you said build a lot. Let's get to fifty. Five more dollars. G Rip is already at fifty. Oh, we had fifty. All right, let's start grabbing some books to add. Boy, Miles Morales is sizzling, boy. That he yeah, is. I'm gonna do the, the Stanley tribute. Oh, uh, Miles, this is number two. Miles Morales, Spider Man number two. It sold out everywhere. Um, freaking um. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Midtown, all these other sites that sell these books is sold out. So, I'm throwing that one in there with this Stanley tribute thing on top. So, I'll throw that one in there. Uh, so, so, Edwin, can I bid? Yeah, man, I don't, I don't like them rules. Panel can always bid. I, you saw me bidding. Yeah. I, 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 I'm figuring out to ask because you know, no, nah, man, I, I don't know why guys know. don't allow the panel to bid, but. The panel can bid. My boy down in the bayou, he threw it up. He threw up some. I'm, I'm interested in. All right. Yeah, sixty five. I'm gonna throw in. Uh, let's throw in another book. So, well, let me ask you: At what price will you throw up some beignets for me? Man, man. <laughs> you can. I can not. No, I can, honestly, I could get you a box of beignets. You just have to make them yourself. Yeah. Oh, that's not good, man. Sure. Hey, hey, it's it's straight from the, the the company that actually does the beignets, the famous beignets. Oh, really? Yeah, they they sell the boxes at the stores, but I don't think they sell them nationwide. Uh, okay, I I know they don't sell them nationwide. So. All right, Mike Panucci's in at seventy. I agree, JMT. The thing is, we never know what's going to be up for sale. So, if panel members like something. They should be able to bid on it. So yeah, and so not not every time we able to do preview videos, I take pictures. Yeah. Instagram. I'm throwing this one in. Miles Morales, Immortal, Immortal Hulk type of variant. Um, and I can show you how that one looks, kind of if you really want to see it. But it doesn't yeah. look as bad as the Immortal Hulk one. <laughs> that's in my opinion. You got G Rip at eighty. So yeah, let's throw nice another book too. Right yeah, this is actually a nice wraparound cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Another book that's like sold out online everywhere. So we at? so I got those two. We're at eighty. Let's see. How about this one? I'm surprised this one hadn't gotten as hot. Uh, this is Spider Man fourteen. The Miles and Spider Gwen. She got the wedding dress on. So. That's in. We get up to uh, 
85, I'll throw in another book. Oh, there we go, 85. Yep. Mm. There we go. Uh, I'm going to do the Miles Spider-Man 80-year tribute. 80 years of Marvel tribute. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, knockoff from the 80s, right? Where they did all no, the characters no, no. around the, uh, it's just yeah, a modern well, look. Yeah, it's a mo it's a, just a modern one because uh, yeah. they, they, yeah. they did seventy years, I think, and then they yeah. did eighty years. So this is the eighty years one uh, with all the characters. So, so we got the one in twenty five with Evil Miles first. Evil, Evil Miles one in twenty five variant. You got <laughs> Rob Foss. He said, it, "That's a good point." He said, "Isn't Miles a little young to be getting married?" I don't know. I just, I'm just going by the cover. Got Miles number two. <laughs> Stanley tribute on top. We got the Miles mortal. If we get, like I said, another, do another five dollars and throw another book. So you got the mortal kind of Hulk. Miles Morales. You got Spider Man. at ninety. Yeah. How old is Miles in the six one six? Is he at least out of high school now, or what? Anybody reading? We just buy comics. We don't read them. Yeah, I only read the ones <laughs> I, I'm interested. In, like the turtles, I'm reading that. Yeah. Stuff. So I'm throwing this uh, Miles Spider-Man number six. I think first appearance of Starling, if I if I said the name correctly. So that one's getting thrown in as well. We get to a hundred. The last book is thrown in, and it's a variant for Spider-Man two. Nice. Mike Bravo folds. Uh, Baz Clark says he's still in high school. Wow. Uh, so G Rip has the current high bid at 90. So I think Dwayne Scott might still be thinking about it. He's at 85. Mike Panucci is still in the mix. Yeah, we get to 100. I throw in the last book, and it is a variant for this one, Spider Man 2. But this is the one in 25. People will look it up, one in 25. Wayne Scott at 95. You, want to, you said get to 100? Yeah, throwing the last book at 100. Man, somebody might as well just go up five more dollars. Dwayne Scott is, oh, G Rip does it. He's at 100. Okay. All right. So that's all the books that are in right now. First appearance here. All right. And the last book is of the Fried Pie variant of Spider Man 2, but it's still in the poly bag. So, but the poly bag here had, a, I guess, a backing board. So, hmm. I mean, they actually had a poly bag comic with a backing board. <laughs> wow. yeah. Like when I when I got it, I was like, "Oh man, they got a little backing board." I said, "That's pretty cool." I mean, it's not mm -hmm. a big big backing board, but mm -hmm. at least it's some. It's better than his first appearance that doesn't have one. So yeah, some kind of protection. Yeah, they got something. So. I got this book off eBay this week. Man, the guy just the book wasn't even bagged and boarded, and there was only <laughs> one piece of cardboard on the back. I'm like. What's wrong with these eBay sellers? Yeah. There you go. Fry five, five, one to five. Okay, so I I think that's it. I think it goes to G Rip. I don't know if anybody else here. Michael folded. Yeah, Michael Michael P. Nucci, did you fold or you in out? I know Michael. He folded. Michael yeah. Let me just double check. Uh, did Bat was Baz Clark in on in on this? I don't. And we're making sure because I don't want Bass Clock wasn't. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. So it goes to uh, G Rip. No, he, was for in it. Uh, he wasn't in it. No, oh, that was 36. That was on the other auction. All right. Yeah, because you started so, at like 30 or 50. Yeah. No, I started at 30. Um, so G Rip, $109. That's the PayPal right there, sir. $109. And I'll show my buy it now really quickly again. Like I said, this is. Hot book right now. It's selling for a little bit over than the price I'm asking, but two hundred dollars. Buy it now for Thor. Got up to number two, nine point eight. And uh, I'll go with some other ones later on. Appreciate it, uh, G Rip. Make sure if you have IG, you know you can hit me up with your address on there. If not, put it in the notes and what you want in your name and all that stuff. All right. So I don't know who's ringing the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go on all the way up to uh, the. Detroit area to Mr. Roman Curtis. What's up, Big Roman? You you awake, man? Oh yeah, I'm awake. I just ain't got the camera on. What, how we doing there, people? How we doing there? <laughs> I'm sitting here researching some stuff I want to pick up. You know how it is. While you waiting, you looking, yeah. you looking to buy while you waiting for your turn to come up. 
right? Everybody's having a good night there. I am about to get started here. Please, uh, for, for first off, since he's he gets a little confused from time at night, guys, Izzy, if you still want uh, Journey in the Mystery, annual number one, you want it for 52 and with shipping at 61, he said, uh, hit me in the IG, I'm going to sleep. That sounded like I had too much to drink, and I bought this book. Um, that's the book you bought last night. So, of course, I got to start my usual thing here. Some low budget lot. <laughs> we'll start off slow. I ain't got them heavy hitters like everybody else. Well, I do, but I'm, I'm not putting one out just yet. <laughs> just yet. Sorry, I had to get that straight. Now, just get on the camera here, so we know what's going on. Got nine book lot here. Starting this lot at nine dollars because that's what he cost to ship y'all. Nine dollars. All right. That's shipping included. So what we got here? Green Ladder, Emerald Dawn, number one. We got Green Ladder, one twenty nine. Here from Star Sapphire. We got. Green Lantern, issue 52 for the issue 52, Sinestro in all his glory. We got the Green Lantern, issue 56, a nice Chris, Chris Ste uh, Stevens uh, uh, cover there. Oh, here's the here's key Green Lantern 111, Starheart, the life force embodiment of the uh, Green Lantern plane. Then we got a uh, Green Lantern, this is a key. 116. This is when Guy Gardner takes over for uh, Hal Jordan. Then we got Farset number one. First appearance of uh, Sojourner Mueller as a, a Green Lantern. Then we got Niobe number five. When she first puts her costume on. And then we got Convergence number four, the one in 100 sketch of the Green Lantern. <laughs> I would put the Blackest Night one in 100 here, but uh, that would make it unaffordable. <laughs> so, $9 starting bid. That includes shipping. So we'll, wow. We'll just circle through these. $9 starting bid. That includes shipping. So, basically, if you win the book for $9, you get the book for free. Nice Bronze Age Green Lantern. And guess what? Slab Worthy, one in 100. Dang. Naomi in their first costume, Slab Worthy. You see the butcher, I was, I, the butcher uses my means now, big time on his show, the Slab Worthy thing. You got to see it to believe it. Got Amy Cleaver for nine. Jeff Silversmith at ten. This is a nine issue. What's up, Manny? It's a nine issue Green Lantern lot. Free shipping. Uh, right now, Jeff Silversmith has it at ten. The the <laughs> I had to read Manny's full comment. I know what he's talking about there for a second. Uh, it's Jeff Silversmith is in at 10. Does anybody want to go with 11? He's got, what did you say? That last book was a 1 in 100? Yeah, the Convergence series. From the yeah. Convergence series. That was issue 4, the 1 in 100 sketch variant of the Green Lantern by, uh, Phil, by Billy Tan. Mm. By Billy Tan, the 1 in 100 sketch variant by Billy Tan. I'm almost to it. you a... Couple one first appearance in there, yeah. That's the this is uh, the one in one hundred sketch variant by Billy Payne. Uh -huh. Main condition. Now Obi. Oh Jesse, I'm sorry, man. I... <laughs> no. Do we miss somebody? No, Jesse. I, I I didn't get Jesse a shout out. Jesse, you always get a shout out, man. I'm sorry, bro. I, I honestly don't like going through the chat. I like the panel to kind of. Help me with that because I'm trying to manage other things. But shout out to Jesse, man. Yeah, so this is the first time. I didn't even know this is the first time uh, Star
Starheart is uh, bitching the green light, the green light and flame that you know everybody charges to. That was a new one for me. Doing a little research there. All right, so Amy is folding. Jeff Silver Smith at twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. That includes shipping, my friend. I was like, how is Green Lantern going to be in jail and he's got the ring? <laughs> that was Emerald Dawn 1, Emerald Dawn 2. Well, I guess that ring does run out of power, right? Yeah, it does. So this is when Guy Gardner takes over the Green Lantern for Earth. While Hal Jordan is taking a break or whatnot. Sojourner Mullen, she's the, the far set Green Lantern. Far sector, I mean, Green Lantern, her first appearance. You got the love when Naomi first puts her suit on, unleashed. And we got the one in 100 sketch of the Green Lantern from the Convergence issue number four by Billy Tan. Still some time left on the clock. Is anybody want to go 21? It's a nine issue lot, guys. Nine issues. Free shipping. Uh, polka dot. I don't. I don't know if anybody in the panel. No, yeah, my uh, pills are gone. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so that's a timer. Let me just kind of scroll through. Amy has folded. Jeff has the high bid. Uh, I gotta be honest, it was just between Emmy and Jeff Smith, so it actually goes to Jeff Smith for 20. Jeff, yep. Hey, please, $20. That's all you have to pay. Shipping is already included in the price. Please leave your shipping information for me in the PayPal note, sir. And we can keep it moving to the next person. Because all right, thank you. Cool, for yeah. All right. So before I go, I guess I'm up next. Uh, guys, give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. We've got 113 people watching. Thank you so much to all of you guys. Do appreciate it. I uh, love this community so very much. Actually, I should be scrolling something at the bottom there. Let me go ahead and do this. I forgot. completely forgot all about that. Uh, so I will go next. And I can see that uh, Hudat and I kind of had the same mindset and uh i'm gonna start this off this was my icebreaker round i'm gonna start this off at uh 10 bucks we'll start off very very cheap and uh, it is the first appearance of miles morales's brother uh i have not read this yet i haven't i haven't been reading um miles morales since probably 20 15 16 was when i just kind of stopped just because i don't buy too many modern comics anymore but I got the, uh, this is the A cover, and then I got the variant. Starting bid is 10 bucks, and this is a builder lot. So we'll see where it goes. Um, but I got uh, the, and they're both near mint. They're both near mint. Um, yeah, they're both like super high grade. Eric Zentara's in at 10. Uh, when I pick my own books, if they're not at least near me, uh, I'm not paying for them. So I don't care what LTS I'm at. I don't believe in paying cover price for books that are not less than near mint, that are less than near mint. So I got the A and I got a variant cover. Uh, if it gets up to 20, I'll throw in something else. And I got a few other things to throw, throw in after that. So this is the first appearance of Miles Morales' brother. Uh, who that you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but this is the, about the the baby, his brother. I mean, whoever his brother. No, is. no, no. The, the baby is the sister. I'm sorry. Uh, so I got number thirteen, the A cover, and number thirteen, the variant. Oh, and congratulations! I see the balloon. Oh yeah, I, I got the, I got this. Yeah, no, I got this job that I've been trying to get for the past three months. Uh, so I finally got it. But they can't start me until the the whole COVID nineteen. No, it's actually first appearance of 
Billy Morales is sister of Miles. So that's what Billy. Uh, yeah. The sister. Well, the sister's name is Billy. With an I E apparently. What I E though? Okay, so it's uh, okay. So I got gotcha. you. So it's the first appearance of Miles Morales' sister, Billy Morales. Different. Appreciate that Hawaiian punch. Yeah, that kind of, the name kind of threw me off a little bit. It's just everybody abandoning Miles right now. Everybody just selling off all their Miles stuff. I tell you. <laughs> if it gets up to twenty, I'll throw in this. I already had this uh, pre prepped before uh, who that showed his, but. <laughs> It goes up to 20, I'll throw this in. I, well, I did so, a preview uh, on my Instagram. I was going to have Miles up. I didn't have, I didn't know how much Miles. But. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shout out to Manny NYC. I appreciate that, Manny. He gave us a uh, $4.99 super chat. He says, uh, Couldn't even get check out the New York Warriors auction on Tuesday. <laughs> shout out. The famous day four nights for chess out the New York Warriors auction on Tuesday at 10 Eastern. We'll also have some. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, so appreciate that, Manny. Brian said, How much for the balloon? So the balloon, now nah, my wife gave me that. It's not for. <laughs> All right, so right now somebody's getting this at a steal for ten dollars. Um, like I said, if it gets up to twenty, I'll throw in this high grade, the number number two variant. Yeah, number two reminds me of Doctor Strange. Uh, but right, what's that? Yeah, yeah, the yeah the whole was it Kondalili? Oh man. <sighs> So AJ Smith is in an eleven. So this is cover A and a variant cover of Miles' first appearance of Miles Morales' sister. Which the way things are going, I'm pretty sure she'll be a Spider-Man eventually too, right? Right. Without a doubt. I'm surprised nobody doesn't want to just go 20 and we get this. Right now, we're still going at these right here, cover A and variant cover of first appearance of Miles Morales' sister, Billy. All right, Eric Fold. So congrats to uh, AJ Smith for 11. It's going to be, I think I can do first class shipping on this. So we'll just say 17 to uh, the PayPal email. Jeff, you're a little slow. Wish it would have came in earlier, but it's going to AJ for 11 plus shipping. So 17 total to the PayPal email. Um, or you can go to Instagram at Strictly Comics and give me your real name and address. And I'll ship those out tomorrow or Tuesday. That was a steal. All right. So we'll go to yep. HGM Law. Did you want to? Did Adam want to come back on and do his buy nows at all or no? Uh, yeah, we can we can bring him on real quick. I know he's he's just showing the buy it nows. We'll send Roman out for a second. Adam, you want to show your buy it nows again real quick? Yeah, I'm just doing buy it nows, and I'm gonna as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna drop out. Um, some of them, if I don't. Uh, like I say, I'm only going to be on here for a couple minutes. Somebody, if nobody claims them while I'm uh, showing them, then um, they will all be on uh, my Instagram. Uh, and uh, there, there's a couple that I, I just dug up that I haven't put on IG yet. But if anybody uh, um, is interested in any of these. So, again, the two bangers are uh, Strange Tales 5.5. Um, off white to white pages, first appearance of Doctor Strange. It's going to be twenty seven fifty. Um, that's shipped, registered mail to your house, um, fully insured. Um, the other one is Daredevil number one, five point five off white pages. Um, this will be twenty five hundred 
again, uh, shipped registered mail to your house, fully insured. Um, I've got three different books here at, they're going to, they're all 225 plus shipping each, not for the lot. <laughs> um, so we got uh, Fantastic Four, Bill Sienkiewicz, uh Virgin Variant, signed by Bill Sienkiewicz. That's 225 plus shipping. I got Star Wars, number 42, 9.4, first Bobo Fett, first Yoda, uh, 225 plus shipping. And I also have um, All Star Comics, 58. Uh, white 9.2 white pages, uh, first appearance of Power Girl, and same with that one. I'll do 225 plus shipping. And then I dug this up, and I don't, it's a hard one to price when you look at what's out there for sale. Um, because of there's graded copies, and this one isn't graded, but a lot of the graded ones are the, the trade dress and not the virgin, so I'm not. I'm not real sure how to price this. Um, I'm going to say, and I could be crazy and somebody can tell me I'm crazy, uh, but go look at what's on eBay. Um, I'm going to say 375 shipped for this. If anybody's interested, I have Venom number seven, the Clayton Crane Venom Infinity Gauntlet uh, signed by Clayton Crane. Mm. Wait, so, how much for that? Uh, 375. There's a there's a there's a nine eight of the Virgin one that's like 800 bucks. There's a nine six of the non Virgin, like the trade dress. It's like 600 and change. I, I saw a couple others. Um, I got this. I, I turned in all my CGC books at uh, on Saturday at Heroes Con last year, and then went back and got this signed on Sunday. And just didn't feel like for I was stupid. Just for whatever, oh. didn't feel like doing another submission. Um, and this book kind of blew up. So again, it's it uh, did. Venom number seven, uh, which is also the first. Uh, what is it, Dylan Brock? Um, uh, signed by Clayton Crane in the uh, Infinity, Infinity signature. Infinity. There, he so, doesn't do that signature I right now. No, he does. He just charges a little bit more for charges, it, but. I don't know. He charged extra when I did it. It was like, I don't remember how much extra, but yeah, uh, I regret not buying that book because he had it at Fan with Dallas just a year ago for like 30 bucks and plenty of them. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, Rob we should. Rockwell, that's 2,750 for the Strange Tales. And <laughs> Josh Hizzle, um, no, the Star Wars is 225 plus shipping. Uh, so, so I don't know why the guys are bidding. I don't either. This is not. This does not start at ten. Yeah. What Murphy and Ader said. <laughs> he's just throwing his buy. He's just showing his buy it now, guys. These are all buy it now. So three hundred five dollars. Yeah. If somebody wants to put that down in the chat, then um, that'll do it. But if that's it for me, um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drop off here. Uh, like I say, all these are gonna be um, ones that are. Some of them are already on my IG. Some of them aren't. I'll put the rest of them up and. Uh, Officer Joker, yeah, this, this this book is really good. He's he's doing it like that because the nine eights go for about eight hundred. Yeah, exactly. So, but so. um, we're gonna we're gonna move along to ACM Log. You guys can hit up Adam in the chat. He uh, will. Don't hit me up in the chat if if they haven't done it already. Um, then these books will be on my Instagram page. So okay, I, I, but we I, might. If somebody hits me up in the chat, or if somebody hits it up in the chat, and I'm not, I'm not gonna be around. So one of the guys can message me, and I can see if anybody's claimed it on IG yet. But um, I'm not gonna be watching. I'm going to bed. So that's the reason I said. That's the only reason I said that. Okay. So I don't. I hate for somebody to claim it in the chat here, and while I'm not around, and then not not know about it or not realize it. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's all I got for tonight, guys. I uh, hope everybody has a great week. And it's uh, that's close, Justin. It's got an underscore in the middle. Yeah, but I can't I can't do that with the at there. So yeah, I know. So mm. uh, yeah. So um, anyway, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me on. Hope everybody has a great night. Again, those of you who are still waiting for lots from me, um, hopefully this early this week, I'll have in my. Uh, um, some more Gemini's and more legal flat rate mailers. Um, 
so and no i prefer not to do uh worldwide shipping uh so um but no that's it take care everybody uh everybody have a great week and talk at you later all yeah. right adam thanks man Thank later you, all right so uh we'll move along to hgm law and uh if he's ready yep so again we, my buy it now is i've got omega men three first appearance of lobo in high grade condition um for a hundred dollars again really really good condition no issues on the corners colors popping hundred dollars for that I've got Venom 3, third print, 175. Again, another high grade condition. No flaws, no anything. It's a really, really good book. Again, for 175. And also at 175, Eternals number one, CGC 9.2. Uh, it has been cleaned and pressed, and you got a 9-2, so the guy did a really decent job, but this is also at 175. So the lot is going to be a Venom lot. It is the actual full series of the Venom Leaf Protector, six-part series. Um, so you got issue one, which everyone knows about, issue two. And we're going to start this at 10 bucks. Issue three. You got issue four. Issue five. Okay. And issue six. The entire series, all in extremely high grade. Like I said, I pulled this out of my garage. Absolutely no, no ticks. No rolls, no creases, no color breaking crease, no, no corner damage, no nothing. Absolutely wonderful condition. Ready to go if you want to get it slabbed, ready to go. But it's the entire series is the exact same way. Every book, not a crease, not nothing. And I, you know, I bought this in 1990. I think it's 91 when I bought it. 93. 93. Okay, yeah, 93. And just uh, put it in the garage, and there it stayed for the last uh, 27 years. All right, so Eric's and Tara's already at 27. Timer is going. Um, Chris, I think that most people are willing to ship just you know be mindful it's going to be much extra and i think that the cost varies me i'll ship first class uh international i think it's like uh 20 bucks starting out for like four pounds i think of weight um but you'll just have to ask each seller what what, what they're what they're willing to do so uh hm law can maybe answer for for his end if he's willing to ship to the uk yeah, I'll ship. Like I said, what I'll do is whatever the cost is, I'll, you know, since you put your email in the notes, I'll email you back and we'll work it out. Cool. Uh, Amy Cleaver's asking, I guess, for regular shipping, U.S. shipping. Oh, um, this should be nine bucks. I mean, they're they're you know, they're not the lightest books, but I should be able to do it for nine bucks. I think I'll go on a Gemini and, and, and do that. Nice. See, and back in the day when, when I bought this, I bought four number ones, but only one of the of the of the rest of the series. Because that's what you did back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just bought multiples of the number one first print. You didn't care about second print or third print. Yeah. Yeah. And they also taught you back then that direct edition was the one to have. Absolutely. In the Absolutely. 90s. Yeah. They pulled it <laughs> off for you all nice. You didn't have to wait for the mailman to, to yeah. mishandle your stuff. With some 17 year old stock, stock clerk at Crown Books. 
He's got it with the other magazine, just throwing it up on the book stand. Mm -hmm. No, you're right, Warren. That's what we were talking about. Like, little did they know back then that, you know, 20 plus years later, direct or newsstand is really the ones to, to have. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So Dwayne Scott is in at 45. All right. Yeah, it's a you know, and and four and five are keys because uh, those are first appearances of those other symbiotes. So okay. they actually the 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 four and five did take quite a spike. Once uh, who was the symbiote that showed up in the Venom movie? Was it? Uh, oh yeah, Riot? it was Riot. I think his name was. Okay. So Amy Cleaver's in at fifty. Yeah, I, don't, I don't even know if you can even find find the rest of these anymore. I mean, they're just you know one's usually around, but and you know back then the white and the black one and the gold one, you just I yeah. never saw them. Never yeah. Saw them. You know, so I say back then you didn't have internet, you didn't have any of that stuff. So if the LCS didn't have it, just didn't have it. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. No, that's why we were talking about the Wolverines earlier. I sold two high grade 9.8 CGC 9.8s, number 27, and then a 50, mm -hmm. all all two hundred dollars each, just because mm -hmm. they were newsstands. Yeah, I agree, Gino. That that was that's the uh, that's the uh, idea. Absolutely. I mean, like I say, you go to Seven Eleven and it's on on a spinner rack. You know, I, I tell everybody all the time, I was 13 years old. I'd go 7 Eleven with $2, get eight comic books, roll them up in my pocket, ride home with them, read them, and throw them in a toy box. Didn't have bagging boards, didn't That's have awesome. long boxes, and none of that stuff. All right. That's the time where I got to step away for a second, but I'll be kind of monitoring the chat. So Justin, are you watching? Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to just show my books and stuff. So you know, I mean, you, you you look at the quality of this foil. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this thing. Absolutely <clears throat> nothing wrong with it. Looks like you just you just got handed to you in your pull box. <laughs> Absolutely pristine condition. Like I say, I mean, I don't know, if, I don't know, you clean and press guy, but I think they're just going to give it back to you and say nothing I can do. Just go on and send it. I'm going to send it on. Yeah, yeah good looking books can't, can't great, take great. Them out, you know great series you know the, the thing is i only have the one i only have one series that's all i've got the rest i've got a bunch of number uh, ones but just the one series up the, up the down seven made a good point because i remember that he says nobody wanted the ugly barcode when i was growing up and i remember that because like because what was it 91 you had like the 50 years of Captain America or something like that. That one was yeah. always on there. So you always wanted the issues that had like something cool in the box and not just absolutely. Barcode. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I'm completely with you on that. And that was the thing. I mean, that that's why that's why comic shops you know got so so popular because you can walk in your comic shop and they had it there, it wasn't in any damage whatsoever. And your books just handed to you all together, collated. And it, it you know it time a dollar book it was great mm -hmm. i mean like i said you know and at that point in time i worked out a deal with my lcs he gave me 10 percent off because you know i bought like 60 titles a month <clears throat> i'm glad i don't do that i, I was in there every week I, I still go every week, but man, I'm glad I cut it down. I don't get well also i'm glad that there's not that many books coming out so they really doesn't even matter but Woo. It's expensive now. now. I don't. I don't know if you were you were around when they were doing the big popular titles are doing twice a month. Yeah, that was nuts. Mm -hmm. That's when I, I was like, you know, I mean, you had you had West Coast Avengers, regular Avengers. Okay. You know, 
Justice League quarterly, Justice League Europe. I see Amy is is is, is folded. So does it go to Dwayne Scott? Um, so er, Eric Zataro, you are at forty two. Do you want to continue? Okay, Joe's in at thirty. See, he folded, so he folded. So Amy's out. So uh, uh, Dwayne Scott had it at fifty-seven, but I just want to respect Eric Zantara's bid at forty-two. Eric, do you want to continue, or what do you want to do? Poke hand folded, air folded. Okay, so it's going to go to uh, Dwayne Scott, 57. But I want to acknowledge, actually, let me go ahead and give uh, Dwayne Scott the PayPal email to ATM Law right there at the bottom left. So it's going to be 57, so it's going to be um, 60, uh, 66. And uh, put your information, shipping information in the notes. And I'll hit um, you on the chat. All right. And in case you guys missed it, everybody's PayPal email is in the video description below. But shout out real quick to Officer Joker for the uh, $2 super chat. He says the HGM with these lots after after ridiculing. <laughs> oh, man. He's got some, I think HGM has got some thick skin, but he's taking a little bit of heat. But I think he got some thick skin. So shout out to Officer Joker for the $2 super chat. And we'll move it along to uh, 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 Adrian APM here. All right. I feel like I feel like getting miles up in here. Uh, so I got a near mint miles number twenty. As you know, this one's heating up. Heating up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And then I, you see, I have gloves on, so I figured I would just take this one out of the bag. And uh, let's add this to the pot. Dang. I want to. I want and, uh, that's a first print. Wow. Yes, it is. And then let's see the, the flower. That's a little, a little bend right there. You can see it, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Can be pressed out. Really light color, like by the stable there. Little color break, break. Not too crazy. Otherwise, though. Super nice copy. I'm going to start this lot with first print, ultimate follow-up, and 20. Start this 50, guys. Dang. It's not going to stay anywhere near 50, I'm sure, but starting bid is super low, guys. 50 bucks. Uh, I said 250. Oh, 250. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. And you're like, oh, that's not low. No. Yeah. Sorry. So I'm sorry, G. Rip. He said 250 was a starting bid. 250. 250 was a starting bid, guys. Um, this is included, but I'm just, I'll just hold up the one that's. G Rib's in at 250. Yep. Yeah. I'd, I'd hold them both up if you can. Um, everybody knows what this is. These are near mint. Um, the, the the number four needs a, needs a press, but still a near mint copy. Yep. So. Uh, and this that uh, that one on on our, on our right, your left, where he's being detained by the police, has really spiked up. I've seen that um, getting a lot of attention. This is first print. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back in the bag if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, I think you should. Yeah. So stupid hot books right now, guys. Yeah, immortal Biggie Shack says ba 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 bangers. <laughs> All right. No, bad. Um, feel, feel safer now. <laughs> Pot has Arizona in at 255. Yeah, this is a, I didn't even notice that one with him being detained before. I, I haven't even seen that, um, but I know it's Clayton Crane artwork. That's it. Is the fallout a first or second print? It's a first print because his face is covered up. Yeah, this is first print, guys. Yeah, second print has his face showing. Yeah. Very, very nice. Hold on. Hold on, let me get 
Yep. Chino. Chino in the house. What's up, Chino? So Guys be holding stupid, ridiculous auctions over on Chino Comics and more. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody selling some peach soda. <laughs> Yeah, the, the new oh, peach Yoda. I was like, yeah, the peach Momoko Yoda. So the people are asking for three hundred plus, but I mean they're going for like one fifty still, one thirty. Gotcha. I don't say anything about soft drinks. <laughs> but hey, if you got them for like twenty bucks or whatever you paid for it, I mean you're you're golden. <laughs> HGM Law, look at HGM Law. Uh, uh, Archangel. It's about a. It needs a press, but it's about a, a near mint copy. Near nine point four, I guess. G root for three hundred. Um, so I guess I should start a timer. <laughs> <laughs> I got a two minute timer going, so sorry about that. I'm like totally like off my game. <laughs> three point five. Three point not a three point five. <laughs> Detach. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen somebody sell an ultimate follow that low. No, all right. Tuesday or <laughs> any staple rust? Oh yeah, <laughs> completely rusty. And the and the thirteenth page is out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so HM Law is in the house at 310. Actually, G Rip comes back swinging at 325. Not sure if that's going to discourage the law, man, but uh, 325 is a high bid to G Rip. Ripped out page 13. They ripped out the Mark Jewelers. They need to bring Mark Jewelers back, man. <laughs> Does that company still exist? I, mean, I have no idea. <laughs> I remember all those kind of companies like that. <laughs> Let's see. Get to the middle of a magazine or a comic and it's just, ooh. True. It does need the Marvel stamp. We do need those back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, by the way, the, the, the Marvel value stamp is cut out, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they do Detroit. They need to bring all that back. Marvel value stamp, everything. Okay. Yeah, but the thing about the five hour flight is that they're going to start with Charlie. The danger, and here's my thing with flying the danger of, of switch switchovers all right so my wife's going to be talking in the background because she's uh you got family matters that we're trying to uh address so but um let me see here g rip has it at 325 hm law folded uh bought his office back at 330 so let me see here real quick you gotta make You've got to make a, so we're going to start it. So Bottas off has been in it from the beginning. Yeah, you've got to make arrangements for that. So uh, G-Rip. Like, <laughs> so Archangel, Archangel hasn't folded either, I don't think. So it's between G-Rip, Archangel, and Bottas off. So G-Rip has it at 335. So we got three people in the mix. Big money book guys. It's not just okay. So yeah, it has uh, the, uh, the 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 police detained. Actually, you know, funny thing about both those books is Clayton Crane worked on both of them. Uh, he did the cover right there, and then he did some interior artwork of a uh, storyline. I think a uh, backup, some kind of a uh, small storyline in Ultimate Fallout Four. So Bot Hazava comes back at three forty. Uh, Raspy, the the ultimate Fallout Four just needs a press, but it's about a near mint condition, like nine point four. 
I think after the press, it should be 9.4, 9.6. Archangel fold. So it's just between Bot, Hazafa, and G Rip. G Rip has it for 350 right now. Anybody can still get in on this, but once one of these guys folds, it goes to the winner. Um, so G Rip has it at 350. There's two books, two books that have just heated up ridiculously even more so than when the movie was out right think uh think uh 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 uh, uh who that called it the perfect storm which was a good good term it's a big big dollar big money book so we'll we'll respect uh, the bidders bids and uh, oh he says he folds so Bot Hazafa bow it out. Appreciate the bids, uh, Bot Hazafa. So it goes to G Rip. Congrats, G Rip. Three fifty. Yeah, it's a nice pickup right there. G Rip, I'll put the information. There's my there's my PayPal right here, right here. And I'll put everything that you need to know in the notes. Thank you. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so we'll move it along to Justin. What do you What do you even follow that up with? Like what do you what do you do? <laughs> like SM three hundred. Exactly. <laughs> I would have like one and it would stay. That's not a I wouldn't sell that. All right. So I will go the opposite route, kinda. Um <clears throat> with a new trailer hit this week, everybody, if you haven't seen it for Warrior Nine, it's Aurelia or Aurelia, whatever you want to say. So this book has jumped like crazy. Um we got a nine issue lot here of her books. All near mint. So we got Warrior Aurelia, Warrior Nun, Aurelia, Aurelia, whatever you want to call her. One, two, three. Then we jump to her second series, Rituals, where we have issues one through five. Four is probably going to be controversial when it shows up on the screen. So sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God. And. This one is portraits number one. So I will start this at. We'll start. Yeah, it's nine bucks. We'll start at ten bucks. Ten bucks, nine dollars chipped. So everybody takes a minute to go look this junk up. <laughs> so can I ask what parish is? Do they have the nuns wearing those outfits? Not Catholic. Don't know. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's what they looked like at my church. I'd be in confessional quite a lot. I mean, my church had a glowing sign, a neon sign outside, but right. Well, your church was also in Amsterdam, so <laughs> fifty to Shallow Comics, nice. Sixty to Bod. All right. Yeah, these are jumping just for one, just for issue one. So, like I said, here you're getting one through three of the first series, and then one through five of the second series. Um, all near mint and issue one of the portraits, which was basically pinups. Basically, it's a pinup gallery. Just think about it that way. And if you haven't seen the trailer yet, it's a, it actually looks really, really good. So it's definitely something to watch. I mean, it's just, and it's awesome too, an independent. You know, comic book company, or, you know, this was from where Arctic Press, or, yeah, Antarctic Press, right? So, a book that was almost forgotten is now being made into a complete series that looks really, really good. So, that just speaks that anything that we used to like may become a TV show. Right, yeah. And plus, this one does have a good series, or a good story, and... Um, Creative art. It has creative art. Very good so, creative art. So Aurelia is the warrior nun? Yes. Oh. She is trained. There are many warrior nuns, but she is the best of the warrior nuns. Apparently, they only have her in four episodes for some reason. We got a bunch of other than all ten, but only her in four. I'm looking on the IMDB. Oh. Well, kind of, who do they have to play her? I don't know, man, but why, 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 why are you trying to kill the auction here? <laughs> She's in every episode. He's so wrong, he don't even know. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm you know just you know. <laughs> Comic slabs and statues. <laughs> Kinda. Maybe. Who knows? Whatever, man. It was the '90s. You could get away with this, and it was like it was fun. You know, this was somebody with a creative idea that was fun. They went that way with it, and it worked. You know, for sure. Have you watched the trailer yet? Yeah, trailer looked really good. I got a bunch of stuff coming for Aurelia. She's been. She's done a lot of. She's done a lot of work. They call her Ava on the show, though. The character's going to be called Ava. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Ava yeah. on the show. Yeah, A V A. Okay. All right. So that one. Okay. She's she's in all episodes then. Alba Baptista. That's why I said when I saw Aurelia, I was like, okay, is that who that's supposed to be? Okay, they changed it. All right. These are some good looking like anime style covers here. <laughs> Shallow Comics is our high bidder at 70. Shotgun mm -hmm. Mary. Oh, yeah. Shotgun Mary. Wow. She's actually yeah, She's actually blind. She's a white blind in a comic book. But Yeah, I remember that book, too. Probably still have it somewhere. Hmm. 75 to Bud. What's going on, Bud? Twilight X. <laughs> also, right. everybody, remember we're only nine likes away from a hundred. So just nine likes, and we're at a hundred. We appreciate it. Sorry about that. Um, so the high bidder is to bot his off. Nice. Let me see. Uh, hmm. Okay, I haven't seen any. Up and down seven had a very, very interesting LCS in his in his growing up days. <laughs> uh, looks like it's just between two people. Yeah, shallow folded, so it goes to Bod. Bod, thanks, man. Yes. Very cool. Very you cool. think Bod's wife are going yeah. to sleep? She's asleep, so he's okay. That's right. <laughs> so seventy-five plus nine, uh, eighty-four. And I will get these out to you today or tomorrow. Make sure that you either email me or Instagram. Do something so that I have your address. All right. Yeah, his Instagram is the same name to XL State Comics. So go to who that? Thanks, sir. All right. What's up, everyone? Uh, so these buy now again, really quickly. Uh, First appearance of Gore the God Butcher. Thor God of Thunder number two nine point eight. Uh, white pages, uh, two hundred dollars. So everybody's interested, get this right now. This is the first print, so two hundred dollars on that. Um, I have the Spider Woman, Michael Turner sketch limited to I believe two hundred. 250 were printed, but only 200 were released. Uh, high grade copy, uh, $150. I got you, Bod. I got you, Bod. I got you, Bod. Just uh, 16 on the shipping, Bod. 16 on the shipping for the slab. So, and uh, like I said, the Spider Woman is $150. Very limited print one on that. Um, I'll do. I'll probably do Silver Age next round. But uh, let's do a builder hip hop. So let's go with the Spider Gwen Great Adventure of Spider Gwen number one. So got that book right there, and I'll throw another little book to go with it. Start this off. And I have the Electra number one. And this, I know the Electra number uh, one is like a, a rendition from uh, Jay Z album. I'm um, starting the bidding at uh, $35 for these two. 
All right. I'm going to be in and out for a while, guys, but I do got a timer going. So starting bid, you said it was $30? 35 35 uh, Okay. So $35. Eric, Eric says, you evil man, 35 <laughs> So is that a bid? It uh, doesn't matter now because EXGI 20 is in at 40 All right. Um, What's the hip hop behind Spotty Gwen? Uh, like what album cover? No, what's the one behind? No, no. Oh, oh the elect, elect, the electric one. Okay. Yeah, the electro one is from like a Jay Z album. I remember this one. I forgot which one this is from. But. So we got these two. These two. Get up to fifty. I'll throw another hip hop in. Well, the Miles Morales one? Negative. <laughs> I'll throw another hip hop one in there. <laughs> I mean, hey, all, all I can do that all I can do is ask. Uh, yeah, hey, that's yeah, that's, that's that is true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's true. If I had that one, I'd probably send it in to get graded. So fifty dollars, I'll throw in uh the next one. All right, uh, we got Venom. Number one. Okay. Got those three in. All right, XGI is up, up to 50 now. Yep. Uh, $50. And like I said, we get some, we got some build a lot, so we got some more, some, uh, some more expensive things. It's saying someone claimed to buy it now, Thor. Yeah, uh, that was... um. Oh, okay, you already got that. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't write it down on him, but I know the guy. He's on Instagram and stuff. So okay. um, I think it was Bad Hazafo. Okay. Yeah. I got, as I told him, just $16 on the shipping form. Um, let's see. Let's see. He said, Waiting on the Silk. Man, actually, yeah, Silk probably ain't coming in until at least 100 So, <laughs> So that's a hint. <laughs> High grade silk one. I'll throw in it at a hundred. All right, just 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 do the bid, XGI. Just gonna put it up there. Bang. Oh, look at her. <laughs> there you go, XGI. I knew you. I, All right, I got he you. Know, he knows what's up. I agree, Wait, copy. That's right. I, I wish to be so that one's in. Uh oh. That one's in. Tara's coming in. I'm trying to, uh -oh. trying to find another one. Let's see. Look, Daddy. I see it, Bonnie. How do I fix the back? I don't know. Wait, so the other, well, of course, they're trains. Yeah. Let's see. I got another one to throw in, and I'm trying to. This COVID, what if there's an extra step into getting So I see it's already up to 110. Yeah, I'm trying to find the pricing for this one. Somebody might get a deal on it because I can't find anything on this one. Are you going to take just a backpack or something? So, uh, real quick to the panel members, just uh, guys, because I'm going to be in and out right now. I got some family issues I'm trying to deal with, plus, I'm trying to eat. Um, just, just try to keep up with the uh, bidders. Uh, one, uh, I'll do this at one eighty. Uh, okay. Got Spider Gwen, number twenty five, high grade copy as well. So, one eighty, so another seventy dollars if somebody's interested. So Eric folds EXGI twenty. It's a high bidder at one ten. What what the what is that a hip hop of uh, like uh the silk? What is that what what hip hop? I actually uh, artist that look it up and say, I don't I, know. I was curious because I don't know either. I, I I saw people posting that this week. I had to go yeah. buy yesterday. <laughs> Nicki I think it's Nicki Minaj. No, Nicki Minaj. Uh, yeah. Really? This one right here, XGL seventy more dollars, so it'll be one eighty. 
I thought they were only doing like 90s hip hop artists. Mm -hmm. no. So let's look first for. Uh, Somebody said Los Death. Let's look first for Los Death. Um, he said it might be Most Death. Let's see. I, was, I heard Nicki Minaj. I'm not sure. Wasn't for me. Um, was that a bid? XGI 20? 189. <laughs> yes. Well, that's it for throw this one in. So, so, so EXGI 20, I got you at 189, but just, just confirm, man. Yeah, because I was throwing that one in. 180. He says 180. So, okay. Yeah. It was like 180. Appreciate that, uh, EXGI 20. So you get the silk, um, Spider Gwen, you got the Electra, you got the Venom, and the Spider Gwen, which I couldn't even find a pricing for. But, <laughs> so, but that one, that, that, this one reminds I think this one's like a Nicki Minaj, huh? Yeah, Boondock said Angela is Nicki Minaj. I'm confused by that whole statement. <laughs> right. <laughs> I Maybe met Electra, but I don't think I don't think there's nobody else in the mix, huh? No, I don't think there is. No, I right, have so. Kamala Khan. <laughs> I, I'll show you what I got uh, actually. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, it's gonna go to. We'll, we'll let who that pull out something else. Pause. I mean, uh, <laughs> pull out another book. Are you, are you adding this to it or? No, yeah. no, 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 not adding it. <laughs> I was just messing with XGI. I got the Black Panther XGI, the Biggie. Oh, the notorious. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that that was going for like a hundred dollars on eBay, <laughs> and I got the re -re. Gotcha. Okay. I just want to nice. that XGI, but it's a. Uh, I don't. I don't know if you got anything with me, XGI. Well, if I if you do, let me know. He says uh, Adam, so you have to let him know how much he says. Oh no, Adam. I ain't about to have that. <laughs> oh okay. I got, okay. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, XGI, but it, uh, I think it's 189, 189. Unless you have something with me. Uh, but if you do have something with me, I'm gonna check really quickly. Um. This add, yeah, add one. So it's one eighty. Yeah, one eighty seven. One eighty. Yeah, one eighty seven. Because I think he has some books already, and I just put it in the bigger box. All right, cool. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, shot twenty. Appreciate that. Who that? We'll move it along to Mr. Roman Curtis from the D. There he is, my boy Roman. My boy Roman. I was wrong, guys. It's uh most death. No, 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 yeah, the um, Nicki Minaj, uh, the Silk is most deaf. All right, yeah. I had to yeah, look that's, it up. That Silk is, that Silk is hot, man. It's like 60 bucks now. All right, so y'all know me with my Sunday night affordable locks. Let me see what I put together here. Nine book DC lock. I think I'm the only one that's going to put DC up most of the time. I do got some Marvel here. So we got a... Uh, Ten dollars starting bid, nine dollars to ship this. Action Comics. What is the issue? Is this four fifty six? There we go. Very nice. We got a very fine copy of Kung Fu Fighter, Richard Dragon, the Kung Fu Fighter. Yeah, when you, whenever you look for we got All Star Squadron number one, the origin of the All Star Squadron. We got. Very fine copy of Batman 363. First appearance of Nocturnal. She will be the villain on next season's Batwoman if they have one. The first flight I saw was remember we got before. Batman and the Outside is number one. Uh, first appearance of uh, Baron Bedlam and Dr. Jace. Dr. Jace is the lady, the doctor that was on the uh, Young Justice series, uh, the animated that was on the DC Universe. The lady that was with the Macovia twins. Uh, Firestorm number one. Beautiful copy here. Looks like worthy and signed by Pat Broderick. Uh oh. 
we got All Star Squadron number thirty six here. Shazam takes on the rest of the squadron. We got Omega Man number one. Not the first appearance of him, but that's uh. And last, we'll leave it with a first appearance. Last ninety two. So this is not the DC Universe logo. This is the regular. Last ninety two. First appearance of Impulse. And then from Very fine copy. We got the first impulse. Omega Man number one. All Star Squadron 36. Firestorm, the second series, number one, signed by Pat Broderick. You got uh, Batman in the All Star, number one. You got Batman four, uh, well, who? 363. I say that wrong. 363, first appearance of Nocturnal. You got All Star Squadron, number one, or you of the All Star Squadron. Last two here. Richard Dragon, the Kung Fu Fighter, number two. And you did say starting bid was 10, right? Yeah, starting bid was 10, $9 ship. Okay. And 456. How much? The Jaws. So the 601 is going American. So first edition is in the house. Appreciate that first edition. He's got the high bid at 15. I'm in first edition. <laughs> I got you, Mike Renuch. Nocturnal, first nocturnal. Batman and the Outsiders, number one, first Baron Bedlam, and first Dr. Greg Jace. We got this beautiful copy, Firestorm, the second series, number one, signed by Patrick Broderick. We got All Star Squadron 36. Omega Man, number one. And Flash 92. First appearance of Impulse. So the last bid for first edition is 60. I got Azar at 50, Bossa 5 33. And those are the three guys we're going with right now. 60 is the high Bossa 62. First edition was at 60, but they said that was his last bid, so he folded. So Arar and uh, was it Bossa Okay, down to two people. That's it. All right, then. I have no way to. Can anybody go back and double check the. I still like it's about to five and 62. Uh, let me look real quick. I'm pretty sure. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's about to five at 62. Yes. That's what I'm seeing also. All right, now we got the win for Boss of Fire. $71 total for the nine books, sir. Thank you for the bot the sale. Uh, leave your PayPal and your shipping information in the PayPal notes for me, please. Wait a minute. I might have put it in the chat because he ain't switched me over. So I'll put my uh, information, Boss of Fire, uh, and he got to switch it over too. You know, I switch it over too, he gets back. Okay. You put this information in here from Boss of Fire. Ooh. Uh, All right, good job. 
I'm looking at one right now that says 1254. I can swim. I can make it out there. No, I'm afraid of everything. Oh. Okay. I'm I ain't doing time. I forgot about the time. I gave the book away already. <laughs> no, I'm on top of it with the timer and everything, but um, did it, did it, we had already closed it out before the timer. Yeah. Oh, dang. Got all about the timer. Okay. You're about to fly. Quick money. All right. So, um, appreciate that, Roma Curtis. There was the uh, PayPal the email. In, uh, PayPal for about to fly. Okay. All right, so am I good to go? Yep. Yeah, go ahead. I got it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a slab. Um, starting bid is going to be 50 bucks. It is a uh, newsstand. Cheapest one you'll see on eBay is 100 But I, this is for uh, an LCS. I'm trying to help out. So in case you guys haven't don't know, here in Houston, they've uh, started shutting down businesses again because of the whole... They say that there is a uh, flare-up of the uh, coronavirus, so we'll, uh, so a lot of businesses right now are kind of uh, shutting down. But you know, going on up there, boy. Like I said, this is to help out an LCS, so keep that in mind when, as you guys are bidding. Starting bid is fifty bucks. It is a Batgirl number one. Ooh, uh, Adam Hughes, and it is a newsstand direct edition. Say direct edition. Cheapest one right now is 100 bucks on eBay. And uh, we'll start this off at half price. Shipping is going to be 15 And that's uh, a 9.4 Adam Hughes. So uh, timer's going. Yeah. You got any bad girl fans? This is a great book to have. Yeah, it's fresh from CGC2. White pages. Uh, it came in a week or two ago. All right. <clears throat> Von Craig still the best bad girl. <laughs> I had to go back to. Uh, I, I seen a silver age. Is a silver golden was first Batwoman. Yeah, gold was. Yeah, yeah, golden. Was it golden? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, bat. Yeah. Batwoman and Batgirl have been around for a while. Yeah. It's just they didn't, you know, I guess it was real, what realistically the TV show is what gave her a popularity. Mm, yeah, that's true. Yeah. 66, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, because the uh, Silver Age first appearance, she's got like a purse or something, right? Yeah, yeah, they all did. Yeah. Paying the rapper okay, has like the uh, high bid at Detroit 70. Like oh, <laughs> Gino. <laughs> so, just in case anybody needs a reminder, it's a newsstand. Um, I don't think that. Um, so I, it's, uh, I, I, the thing about GPA again, it goes back to the uh, argument that I was having earlier um, with myself. Um, GPA is not going to always take into consideration everything that's a newsstand. Um, so that argument that I was having with myself is the fact that a uh, Wolverine <laughs> 27, I've, I've sold two of them, Wolverine 27s that have been uh, 9.8s, but both newsstands sold on eBay for 200. <laughs> But they were newsstands. I think that that book at a direct edition was like a hundred dollar book at most, eighty to a hundred dollar, mm -hmm. something like that. Well, Baz Clark got a deal tonight. Oh, uh, geek aficionado knows his knows his TV Batman. <clears throat> Sorry about the glare, you guys. I'm trying to. So it is a newsstand for anybody who's kind of popping in and out. It's fresh from CGC, new case, uh, no cracks on the case, which you do have to check, guys, nowadays, because the past <laughs> two out of five submissions I've gotten from CGC have had cracked cases, so I've had to ship them back out immediately. And in case you guys are wondering, you guys, if you guys ever get a shipping um, order from CGC that has a cracked case, I think you have like a 
either 48 hours or a week at most to reach out to CGC with pictures. Otherwise, they will deny a free reholder. And the way they pack their, pack their boxes, I can't see how it cracks, but I guess it can. Oh, you did a flexible. Yeah. Josh Hizzy folds. Uh, T-Pain, the rapper, is in at 78. T-Pain, you're a rapper, man. I know you got more money than that, man. Um, gold chains and gold you be wearing. Uh, it's a newsstand. Adam Hughes. The thing is, I always thought this was like a variant, but it's just a regular cover, right? It was just a regular cover. Mm -hmm. Are you looking at tomorrow? Like the 29th? Yeah, Panucci. I mean, Lee Merriweather was a great cat woman, but Julie Newmar was better. Oh, the flexible? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gotta say it as it is, my man. Just gotta say it as it is. Right, he's gonna have All right, so I guess we got T Pain and uh, Nola. Were they? That's a well. This one, this one's two ninety nine. So, no, I think you're talking about the uh, the 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 ones that came with the digital. Because when the new fifty two came out, the the ones with the digital comic were a dollar more, and then the the regular covers or the regular. We're just two ninety nine. So, so Nola Comics folds. So I think it goes to T Pain for seventy eight um, plus uh, fifteen for shipping. So congrats. So it'll be ninety three total. T Pain ninety three total. And uh, hold on, let me. Uh, yeah. So there's my PayPal email. Um, if you don't mind, uh, hit me up on. Uh, Instagram at Strictly Comics is right there in the uh, bottom left. And give me your real name and your address, and I'll ship this out Monday, Tuesday at the latest. Bulletproof, waterproof. So I appreciate everybody. You're helping out of LCS. Thank you so much. We'll move it along to HGM Law. All right. So um, yesterday this weekend, I hit 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. And in honor of that, I'm going to do a uh, giveaway. Um, and it's going to be Catwoman number three, nine point eight CGC, very condition. You're doing the giveaway here or on your channel. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it here. Okay. Okay. Do you right it. now. Gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I want to do a trivia question, but I'm gonna ask the chat. Do you want baseball or basketball? Trivia question to help okay. us with our withdrawal, our sports withdrawal. You know, just just you know, just to see who 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 what what kind of question you want, and whatever the chat shows, that's what I'll do. Of course, the same basketball. I thought you said baseball or football, right? I had baseball or basketball. Oh, I got. I, I'm sorry. Okay, so so you got four okay. basketballs right off the rip. Yeah, yeah. baseball. 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 I can't. I, okay, baseball. Baseball. You got like one football total, two football, so it's baseball. All right, baseball. Okay, so I'm I'm not going to ask the starting line because this is not an easy one. This is not an easy one. <laughs> I need you to name me the last pitcher to win twenty games in a season for both the American League and the National League. The last pitcher to win 20 game seasons in the, both the American League and the National League. We got a whole bunch of people rolling in. Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh, Gary yeah. Wood, Holiday, Johnson, Verlander, Ryan Johnson. Kurt Schilling. Surely it's not Clemens. Cy Young, probably not him. I'm gonna put the put the the answers in the, the answers in the, in the in the private chat, so you can look like I'm trying to look. 
Oh, nobody's gotten it yet. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I would. I would. That's like strictly or Jeff Silversmith. That's those are two that I would have went with. But that would be wrong. <laughs> Rolling back up. Yeah, nobody's gotten it yet. All right. So, I mean, if you, if you want a hint, then just prep, type in hint, and I'll give you a hint. Or I can just go to the basketball one. But that that okay. That, yeah. Adam Adam Horry. Adam Horry is our winner. Where is he? Where is he? I don't know where he is, but I see his name with the correct name. Yeah, I see it too. Adam Horry. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right. Yes, indeed. It is Max Scherzer. Yeah, we did it with Detroit and the Nationals. So, Adam, I need you to email me that um, at that email address and just let me know uh, your shipping information and just put in there that you won the um, that you won the giveaway, and then I'll ship it out to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. Thank you for that free giveaway, uh, Law. And as for my auction, we're going to do a Hulk lot. And we're going to start with Hulk 377. We're going to start this at $20. So you got Hulk 377, first appearance of the, what, the Thinking Hulk? That's his name? Professor Hulk? Then we got this Hulk. Um the Incredible Hulk 92. This is the second print. This one's like really, really expensive. Then we've got Incredible Hulk, Indestructible Hulk number one. Then we've got another variant, an Incredible Hulk number 603. This is the zombie, the zombie uh, variant. Then we've got um, World War Hulk, Incredible 611, Incredible Hulk 613. We have Incredible Hulk 614, World War Hulk, where the two Red Hulk, Hulk 24, they battle. Incredible Hulk Future Imperfect. This one has a, the, I guess, the skeleton of Wolverine showing up. And then Incredible Hulk Future Imperfect with a full Wolverine appearance. It's going to be 15 shipping because these are the last two are quite heavy. So, again, 377. This is the second printing of 92. Indestructible Hulk number one, the zombie variant of Incredible Hulk 603. Yeah. Got World War Hulk 611, Incredible Hulk 613, Incredible Hulk 614. World War Hulk 24, Incredible Hulk Future Imperfect, number one, and Incredible Hulk Future Imperfect, number two. All these books are in very fine, very, uh, I want to say close to near mint condition, each and every one of them. Really, really good. Really, really good condition. It's 
Corners are nice. Colors are nice. One. The cheapest one is always like that one. Which one is that? What what flight is that? All right, sorry about that. All right. Oh, um, who had the high bid? Jeff Silversmith. That was way back at thirty. So okay. So congrats to Jeff. Uh, did Gino fold? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Appreciate it, Gino. Appreciate it, uh, Jeff Silversmiths. So there's the PayPal email at the bottom left. And uh, we'll move it along to so our A lister. Yeah. 45. Well, that's uh, PayPal right. put the uh, shipping information inside. Thank you. All right. Uh, Adrian, what's up, man? Hi. <laughs> okay, we got we got a fun one here. This is 25 books. This is it's all Jim Lee. Um, and right off the bat, I'll tell you, if we get it up to, I mean, this is up there. If we get to 125, I'll include this signed print, and I'll, you know, I'll pay the extra shipping on the side for this and everything. Signed by Jim Lee. That's sweet. If we get to, if we get to one, that's one, if we get to 125 with a lot. Uh, the, lot, the lot itself, I'm going to start this at 50. It's yeah. 25 books. Also, um, so let's see what we got. We got ASM 30 variant. We got Avengers number 9 variant. Look okay, at you guys. It's all Jim Lee. Yes. Sorry, it's Steve Rogers. Captain yes. America. Uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America, number 19 variant. Yes. Uh, Champion, number 10 variant. Deadpool, uh, number 33 variant. Doctor Strange, number 23 variant. So, got so you want to go from Detroit Grand to Pool, 18 variant. Iron Fist. Obviously, most of these are variant. <laughs> uh, number five variant. And uh, then there's like a, inside here, there's like a little mini. See, there's 204, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, 210, 211, 212, 213, and 214 of Superman. So it's like a little Jim Lee around of Superman in the middle there. And then we got Venom. This is uh, 152. Some more Jim Lee love. We got the Uncanny Avengers, 25 variant Jim Lee, Spider Man. 18 variant Jim Lee. Old Man Logan, 26 variant Jim Lee. And very, uh, this is the uh, the Mighty Thor, 21 variant. And then to end it off here, the Jean Grey, number four variant Jim Lee. Boom. I'm not, I don't know if you guys could hear me or not, but. I can hear you. Okay. So it's a 25 book lot starting at 50. Um. Uh, and it's a whole lot, and these are all near mint. It's a whole lot of Jim Lee love, guys. And if it gets to 125, I throw in the signed print by Jim Lee. And that'll be shipped separate in a completely different thing. These these will cost 15 to ship, or 16 actually, yeah, 16 to ship these. They'll be in a nice, comfortable, padded box. Nice. <clears throat> what, were those like all the trading card variants? Uh, yeah, I, ble I believe they actually were, because uh, the only one I knew for sure that was that when I uh, was the uh, 
I caught. Yeah, I actually think they say they have the variant right there. Yeah. yeah. I know the Deadpool one was for sure. I think most of these are that that the variant. So. Yeah, good song. You know, can't go wrong with Jim Lee, right? What's that? Can't go wrong with Jim Lee. Right. Yeah. Nice easy start at fifty bucks. So it's like paying two bucks a book. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of books. I think I'm gonna be holding these forever. <laughs> They're pretty heavy. Twenty-five Jim Lee. <laughs> All right, so Joe Silversmith is in at 50. And guys, I apologize if uh, if you hear a lot of background noise and stuff. I'm trying to get up. My wife is trying to arrange plane tickets for me. I got to fly out soon. Oh, good. You be safe out there, mister. That's right. Handle your stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll be on the plane with like a uh, biohazard suit and <laughs> oxygen right. tank, all that stuff. That's well, right. There probably won't be that many people on there anyway. Yeah, right. right. If they're next to me, I'll just start coughing. And maybe they'll move. <laughs> probably so. <laughs> I like to use like, the analogy like, or, like, I'm sure you guys have seen it, but like how the spike in Corona is coming out now. It's like in the movie Contagion, it's like mm. if Damon would have been like, all right, let's go to the bar right in the middle of Contagion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Price, so. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, I, I live in Wisconsin, so they love the bars here. So it's like, sure. <laughs> That's a nice Superman lot. Was that a Michael Turner yeah, Superman? That you no, showed everything, everything in this lot is all Jim Lee. Oh, Jim Lee. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So you know? yeah, he's all right. Jim Lee, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's all right. And if we don't, obviously, if we, you know, I don't think we're going to make it to the 125, but if anyone is interested in the Jim Lee signed print, you can hit me up on Instagram and see for that. If you want to we'll make an offer. Were, the flight was like almost $300. And then I was like, no, it was like, you show him uh, Jim Lee's uh, print. What's that? You might want to tease him with the print. <laughs> I remember that print. That was, uh, wasn't that like. Uh, I can't see the whole print. We got, oh, we got the whole Justice League in there? Is the print, is the print included or no? No, yeah, I say yeah. If we get to one twenty-five, I was going to include the print. Oh, okay. So yeah, because that like, print wasn't it like exclusive to like a con or something like that. Yeah, I think I want to say it was exclusive to C two E two, as far as I know. Yeah, yeah, because I'd seen that before. <clears throat> like I said, if, if somebody did get to one twenty-five, I'd be paying the extra to ship it because it's not going to go in the box with these guys. Honestly. Uh, if somebody wanted the, I don't know. I, I didn't really thought about it. I was just like, oh, I'll just throw it in if it gets to this. <laughs> so there's still some time left on the clock. Uh, Jeff Silversmith has this at 50, but if anybody wants to just keep bidding to keep it going, otherwise once the timer goes off, Jeff Smith gets it. But it's a really nice Superman lot. And if you're going to get that Batman 608, Jim Lee second print variant, you need to have that Superman, what is that, 504? The Jim Lee one where you stand on, the, on top of the gargoyle? Uh, all the Jim Lee ones that go from 204 to 214. Or 204. Yeah, that's right. My bad. My bad. You know yeah. What? You guys, but you kind of need both of them staring at each other. But I read that read by Brian Azarello. It's not a bad read. Some of those pages went up for auction at Comic League not too long ago. All right. Congrats to Jeff. All right. So there's the PayPal um, email. Somebody does want the print. I guess I could do, you know, if you want it separately. Uh, I could do like 65. I'll do 65 ship. So just hit me up on Instagram or on here if you're if you're interested. It's all good. Dang. All I'll right. Put, so there you go. Cool. I'll put the information in there for you, Jeff. All right. We'll move it along to Justin. Uh, damn. I need. Um. 
Okay, now I'm not on mute anymore. That works. <clears throat> We're going to jump over to... Uh, might as well do a hip hop variant while we're doing it, right? Might as well, just for fun. Just for fun. We'll start it. We'll start it at ten dollars. Start at ten dollars with some with some stuff that I'll probably add in. But we're going with Champions number one, the hip hop variant cover. Mm. Hadn't seen this one tonight, so we'll go with this one. <laughs> I'm not letting my silk go. My silk stays. Champions number one. Ten dollars, nine dollars shipping. Got a couple of extra things I'll probably throw in as it rolls. If it does, I know XGI twenty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody's already shooting fireworks over here. Getting ready. Getting ready for this weekend. So near mint condition. Yeah, at first I was like, what is all this stuff? But it's part of the background. I, don't, I freaked out when I got the book and saw that. I was like, what is... But no, it's actually supposed to be there. <laughs> they do that with this stress guy. So. XGI 20 is in for 10 on the Champions number one hip-hop variant cover. Because you got... I mean, Miles is on there with Camilla Khan. Ooh, it's a drop book. At 20, I'm going to throw in two issues of Power Pack. Issue 13. These are near mint. Issue 13. And, and are you even ready for this? Issue 15 with Beta Ray Bill on the cover. Okay. <laughs> so at 20, those two will go in. But if you just want this, all right, we're at 20. So all three books are in. All oh, three books are in. Mike Bravo. Thanks, sir. Got some Power Pack fans. We do. Next, yeah, 20 is at 25. Yeah, this is a cool cover, too. A little Amadeus Cho. Who is not a Hulk anymore, which is sad. I like I like the direction they could have gone if they developed that character further. Um, but I understand why they had to kind of give the Hulk title back. How much for the what pay to rate bill? One behind me is not for sale, Amy. <laughs> gotta ask man gotta ask I hear you no sorry first, that first one, first one, I saw you want to ask about that too <laughs> yeah didn't care about the hair just cared about the Thor behind you mm, I hear you I hear you yeah I know I know yeah that one's not not going anywhere <laughs> Well, no, that one will go somewhere when when he's on when he's in a movie. That one will leave, and then I'll bring out the other one. Oh, the nine eight. You'll bring out the nine eight. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, twenty five XGI twenty. Um, not a whole lot more to add to this one, unless it was going to jump a good bit. So, is Power Pack coming to the MCU or just Franklin Richards? Power Pack, I think, is going to have a Disney Plus show. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm. Okay. 27 to Mike Bravo. 27 to Mike Bravo. Brian Folds. I almost thought that was like a gold Power Pack cover, too. I am colorblind, so that happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got the hiccups. Got the hiccups. XDI folds. That was it. Oh, uh, somebody's got that. There's the brother. So, Mike Bravo. Thank you so much, sir. That'll be 36 total to my email address that'll show up down here in moments. There it is. 
So, like I said, 36, and I will get these shipped out to you. Make sure you send me your shipping address so that I can send them to you. Or you can just send me the money for them, and I'll keep them. I'm good with that, too. <laughs> <laughs> they will. Right. And they will. All right. Thanks, Chip. Um, so, who that is next? Oh. All right. Appreciate everybody who sent payments. Got everybody famous so far. Uh, still have the Spider Woman number one, Michael Turner sketch variant. I think limited to 200 that were sold. I think they have 50 more out there, but 25, I think, as well. Michael Turner's you know website and the other 25 is a uh, Spider Man booth. So 150. Buy now for that one. Um, I'll try this one. This is one of the books I'm kind of specking on, so I have a few of these, but this is a graded copy. This is a 7.0 of Iron Man 54, Off-White Pages, first appearance of Moon Dragon. So it's the speculation of uh, going to be on uh, what was it, uh, the new Guardians movie. Uh, classic Iron Man somewhere in the cover. I'm going to ask. So, uh, last sale like I could find was like 199 on eBay. Uh, so I'm gonna go a little bit lower than that. Uh, I'm gonna say 180 plus shipping. So, so if it doesn't sell, I'll just hold on to it to make the announcement. 180 plus shipping on that one. All right, what do you guys want? Modern or older? Modern or older? Older. Modern. Older, modern. Older, modern. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one vote for older, two votes for older. Like Silver Age, Silver Age or modern? I'll say like that. Silver Age, modern. Every, they're going to say Silver Age. They're going to say Silver Age, but not modern. Not, not on it. <laughs> Maybe still, Silver Modern? All going older, older. older. Yeah, and it's it's... The option is all older. All right. Um, Mr. Unknown said oldest. <laughs> all right. Well, let me know next next round. Uh, maybe one of these will go up next round. So, at Gwenpool, we got the female Taskmaster R. What? Uh, just let me know. So, I got that first one. Yeah, that's not the oldest one. But this one is the oldest one, and I have to start debating a little high. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so it might draw some people off, but we got Fantastic Four 46, first appearance of Black Bolt, mm -hmm. and probably 6, 6, 5, maybe a little bit better range, but no press are cleaned. So. Black Gar Boltagon. <laughs> There you go. Um, I'll start the bidding off at uh, eighty dollars. You said issue sixty-eight. <clears throat> no, no, this is forty-six. Forty-six. I'm sorry. Forty-six. First appearance of Black Bolt. That is a. I mean, that's that's just a great book to have in your collection, whether you like yeah, it. Yeah, real bright colors and clean. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it presents really, really well. So. Yeah. It has no like. All right, we're a hundred to Jeff Silversmith. First one I saw, Raspy G is up to one twenty. Brandon Stowinski jumping in here at one twenty five. Andrew Speller one fifty. Thank you, sir. Anything is a six zero six five. Yeah, the person I you know, bought it from, uh, they're they're strict at grading. They're real strict at grading. So they even said it. They're like, we're we're, we're conservative on our grading. I was like, <laughs> you said six five ish. I said six six five. Yeah. All right. Raspberry G's out. But that's what they they, they told me about a six. But they, then they said they you know they're kind of conservative on a grading. So that's why I said six six five because I've had seven O's look not as good as this. Yeah. Well, Law threw it down. He wants it for two hundred. Well, I guess I'll just pack this up to Law because I don't. <laughs> Officer Joker full. 
I don't even think all the jungle was in it. As you get for ten. <laughs> I love y'all, Joker. I got, I got, uh, I got so many videos I got on like save. I know I got to watch his video. What they did the Spider Man booth. Got a lot of videos that man back long. Poor Mister Unknown Comics guy. He just needs a daggum dollar. Everybody, come on. He said, "Just somebody just loan him a dollar." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Old fold. Who else we got? Oh, fold bod. Did you want to keep it in? Or you I'll show, uh, I, I'm not going to take it out, but I'll you know lift the board up so you can see the back. Just to let people see the back. But I don't want to take it out again. I don't want you to take it out either. Don't. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, not going to take it out. Just trying to lift the board up so you can see it. If I can't lift the board up, I'm not messing with it. So I saw it. I saw it once. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, let's see. Odd high S up uh, seventy one. What are you thinking, brother? You're at one twenty five. All right, there you go. Thanks, yeah, sir. And one thing, if you notice with this book, and I don't. I'm not trying to talk it up so somebody outbid them, but there's no more with so. Yeah. Now it looks like everyone has folded now. So we have beat the timer again. Good job. Beat the timer again. Everybody folds. <laughs> well, and I, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this book because I just looked on eBay. It's going for like way more <laughs> than, than I was trying to sell it for before. Slab it, slab it, slab it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about there. Because, like, the, well, the, the raw copies are all listed over 100. Wow. That is, Taylor. That is some shiny Mylar. Yeah, well, that's a good <laughs> book underneath, though. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. well, it, yeah, it makes that red, that red and that white contrast on the pops. covers there, like it pops. Yeah. yeah it pops. The world's greatest comic magazine. <laughs> Did HM log scare everybody away? Yeah, he uh, he threw he threw the hammer. There. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, that's it's over. We haven't heard a thing, but it's done. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's basically done. Hammer's almost up. Yeah, like, I ain't got nothing to add to it. Even bring a few angles, just this book by itself. <laughs> All right, congratulations, uh, Law Dog. Yes, sir. Uh, this 209 law dog. Uh, I'm going to shift that priority to you. So you got it. Appreciate All right. It. Move it along to Mr. Roman Curtis. My turn, my turn, huh? Yes, sir. On DC, uh, DC or Marvel? DC or Marvel? DC. DC. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try this thing. Somebody uh Murph for tomorrow. I'm sorry, Murph. There's another one. Murph wants some free marbles. Three marbles, they win. Right, yeah. And hey, we got marble. We got marble. I hate to sell this. I gotta remember what my keys are. I won this in the auction a while back. About three years ago. Never opened it. So I, I came from my comic shop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dang, Craig. <laughs> I never opened this. Let's open it up, y'all. You buy too many books, man. I feel like <laughs> you buy too many books when you do that. Unfortunately, this probably be the highest. This, this is not affordable, y'all. It's not affordable? <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with having too many not books. Good. Not affordable. Oh, no, I'm going to leave it as affordable. Yeah, I should have opened it then. Anticipation. I, 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 I had this thing so long. <laughs> Comic book channel. He says now it's an unboxing video. <laughs> yeah, you know so uh, <laughs> it's a champion's lot then. Champion. Ooh. Never been over. Number one. I thought it was one through ten. So I was looking at it as one through ten. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do this. We'll change the price up. Um, 
if you want. What do they grade that in the in the from my comic shop? That's funny. <laughs> Man, that was a long time. I would have to go back into the receipts and look them up and see what they said it was from this to this. But I'm not gonna give anything more than a five. If you want, I'm gonna probably start it off with you. That matter of fact, ten dollars starting to be a nine dollar chip. Issue two. I know mm -hmm. one, seven, and eight are keys, but I don't. I got more past there. So, issue three. Yeah, this is a nice lot. Issue seven. I know seven and eight are keys. And none of them are the price variants, huh? Because I know they have price variants in there. You got to make sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be thirty cent for. I got thirty cent boys. I had to go back and check because thirty cent would be the price variant. And these all say thirty cents. So I, I should open it. Hey, they might get a hell of a deal on this. <laughs> <laughs> I know they had. I know they had them. I just don't remember. You know, all these are thirty cents. But I got to go back and check. That's what they said. The price range would have been issue nine. They look to be in really nice shape too. Mm -hmm. I, I won this lot about three years ago. <laughs> issue ten. No, nah, no, Mark Jewish. Well, I don't know. I, it could be. I, I have never opened it. <laughs> I might be buying some with all the staples out of them. For all I know, that's the first thing I do. I can't get that He's never opened them. He don't even know if there's like. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> no Coupon cutouts and everything. That's right. <laughs> put all the Marvel stuff. Y'all, y'all, they could cut all the Marvel stamps out. That was eleven. It's it's almost like buying a mystery box. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> like buying a mystery box. It's fourteen. Oh man. Issue 15. It went from 1 to 17. Here's 10 of the issues. Let's look this over. No rust on the staple. To Jeff Silversmith. That's issue 14. And the price range is 35 cents. Oh, well, I don't have no 35 cents. Okay. That was issue 15. I'm sorry. This is issue 14. Uh, I know seven and eight are keys. Hmm. But I don't. I, it might be more keys past seven and eight, but I don't know which ones they are. Very nice. Right, issue fourteen got a black alive appearance in issue eleven. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. Is that a first appearance of uh, Black Goliath? No, Black Goliath first appearance is in uh, Power Man 24. Look at your own dropping knowledge just off the top of his head. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I, I guess I'm, I'm slightly supposed to know a little bit about the African American character. <laughs> a little bit. Not, not a whole lot, just a little bit. I got, I, cause I got both the uh, first appearances. I mean, the second appearance. I mean, Power Man and. Uh, 24 and 25. Yeah, color break right there. This is a 10. Ten seems to be worse than a five to me. Here is nine. It is eight. Eight is a key, but I I would have to look it back up to see what it is about. I forgot. I didn't plan on selling this lot tonight. What? What the hell? Seven is the key, but like I say, can't remember. Let's say we got uh, Merv, Brandon, Amy. Jeff Silversmith. 
25th. This is three. So we got uh, Nola still in it. ACM Law still in it. Uh, Amy Cleaver is still in it. Jeff still? No, Jeff folded. It was Brandon in it? Brandon was way back at 15. Two. Okay, so appreciate the uh, response, Amy. Um, so it's just between HM Law and NOLA. NOLA Fold. And yeah, NOLA Fold. So, um, so just real quick, so Brandon was in the mix way back at 15. I'll give just a few seconds, but I'm pretty sure he's out of it. Has, okay, thank you, Brandon, for being quick with that. So I guess it goes to HM Law. Uh, I don't think he's going to make much money in this auction, but congrats to HGM Law. All right, then. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Six, Sixty-nine whole dollars, Mister HGM Law. You know what to do. I have here you cracking number for you tomorrow. <clears throat> All right, and uh, we're going to go ahead and move it to me. Um, give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. I think we got over a hundred, hundred and two, whatever likes. I really appreciate it, everybody. Uh, so I got another slab, but it's a potential builder slab lot. See what happens. Uh, again, guys, this is from my uh, from my LCS, and they've actually, <laughs> they've actually kind of struggled a little bit through this whole. Uh, uh, beer bug virus thing that's been going on, but um, this is uh fresh from CGC and cheapest one on eBay right now, if I'm not mistaken, is uh 175. Cheapest one right now on eBay is 175, and uh, starting bid for this is going to be 85 plus 15 dollars shipping, 85 plus 15 dollars shipping. It is a Strange Tales 164, first appearance of Yond Yondrith. I don't know who that is, but it's uh, Strange Tales, not Doctor Strange, but Strange Tales. Um, starting bid is going to be 85 bucks plus $15 shipping. Um, I got more to add if it goes up, but we'll just see what happens where this goes. Um, if it gets up to 100, I'll show you what I could ed <laughs> excuse me it is uh the atomic monkey atomic monkey comics in houston uh edgar Why are you, that? <clears throat> you from uh you from houston edgar so off white to white pages. Appreciate that. MT. MT is in at 85. Um, like I said, it's it's a beautiful slab. I mean, it's a really nice 8.5. I think it should be higher, in my opinion. Yeah, it's really nice. What what book is that? It is uh I'm sorry, I was I was sitting roaming my my money. That's why I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's a Strange Tales 164 first appearance of Yandroth, Y A N D R O T H. Uh, if you guys can see it right there. All right. So it was just I just think that it was submitted just because it was a high grade Silver Age book, and in my opinion, it's it's undergraded. I really think that it is. I'm trying to figure out why did they give this an A5. It's super nice. It's really nice. It's yeah, it's undergraded in my opinion. It's a really nice book. Um let me see. I'll show you what I could potentially add, but it's got to get to 140. If it gets up to, appreciate that, Jeff Silversmith. 
If it gets up to 140, I'll add Strange Hills 160, which is uh, it's just a high grade Silver Age 75 Strange Tales. So if it gets up to 140, I'll add I'll add this one. But right now we're here, high grade 8.5 Silver Age book from the 60s. If it gets up to 140, you get two slabs, same shipping cost, 15. So and the uh, the cheapest one on eBay for this one is uh, ninety two dollars. Cheapest one currently on eBay is ninety two dollars for this. So right now we're here, but if anybody wants to add go up to one forty, you get two slabs. All right, appreciate that, Jeff Silversmith. So he is in like sin, and now we got both of these two slabs. 140 timer still going timers uh, still a little bit of time left on the timer but right now we got two dr strange but it's really strange tales jeff silversmith has these at 140. 140 right now mt's at 145. yep yep i appreciate that mt so i don't know a lot about dr strange i was you know Yes, sir. We're at 150, sir. Yeah. So two slabs, one shipping cost, 15 bucks. And uh, are they both? Oh, look at the seven five white pages. Nice. How you mm -hmm. like that? White pages. So there's a seven five, and in my opinion, an undergraded eight five. I can. I can show you guys real quick, give you a closer look. I don't know if you, if you guys can see this. I mean, the the, I mean, that's just a nice spine. I think it's really undergraded. It only has like I think one tick. One fifty five to MT, and, and it's already been cleaned and pressed too, guys. It's already been cleaned and pressed, so uh, I don't know why it was graded in eight five. It's a really nice really nice spine there's that one tick right there but that shouldn't knock it down that hard and they're usually a little more um lenient on the silver age books i don't know if i can if you guys can see the top mm -hmm. he's back at 165. So just undergrading, in my opinion, um, I don't know what else really to show on this cover. It's just a really, really nice cover. Maybe it was that at the bottom. I don't know. 170, Jeff Silversmith. No, so, but anyways, uh, so there's two slabs in the mix. Uh, I got both my hands filled up, Justin, so if he... If, if 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 you say that everybody's folded, I'll I'll close it out. No, we're still going. We're still going. Okay. We're at 170 right now, but MT and Jeff Silversmith are still in it. So again, it's white pages, um, and I don't think this one's a key. It's just a it's just a high grade Silver Age book. It says. Also, they're both they're both Jim Steranko stories and art. Jim Steranko stories and art. 175 the MT and this one just got the white pages fresh from CGC um, July, um, July 30th to, to July 3rd age goodness 180 to Jeff Silversmith oh sorry June yes June 30th yeah. that's right MT yeah and uh Strangle's still alive i mean we lost uh should have gave some quiet time for joe senate passed away was it earlier this week yeah 185 mt i gotta call them i gotta i gotta call them right now all right a couple right, years ago we you. lost ditko and stan lee Hello. joe senate Jeff Silversmith, 200, throwing the hammer down. Appreciate that, Jeff Silversmith. 
Jeff Silverstone. And like I said, guys, uh, you are helping a local comic shop. Um, you know, if we were Jim Lee, we could just do a sketch like how he has been like every day. And they're selling for like 10, 15, 20,000. And they're going to local comic shops. So this is how us as a community have to kind of help our LCSs. And I'm happy to do so, to be honest with you, if they don't mind. They've actually, actually, the LCS I'm helping now was a very generous donor to both charity auctions the last two years. What do you think, an MT? He can take a minute to think. He's thinking. <laughs> He's thinking. <laughs> um, they they have both been cleaned and pressed, guys. That that you know needs to be disclosed. But like I said, I just think that this one is undergraded. Um, I really, really do. But it is the first appearance of a character, so maybe if this character shows up in a movie or something. Um, the owner ought to seriously consider maybe cracking it and resubmitting that. Yeah, it might be worth to send it to CVCS. <laughs> you know? 205 well, to MT, 205 to MT, Jeff Silversmith, Bowl. I, I yes. Oh, so does it go to oh, MT? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, right. Okay. okay. Congratulations, MT. Please send friends and family. Please send friends and family. I will confirm immediately once I get payment in the chat, or I can take a screenshot and send it to you, email, whatever. Uh, but congratulations, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good bidding, guys. Those are some good books. Yeah. Yeah. So move along to HTM Law. All right. I'm going to do one more, one more giveaway. And the winner will get this. Power pack number one. And uh, I'll ship it out to you. It's going to be a basketball question. And in the chat, I'll put the answer. So the question is, name the only basketball player to win a national high school title an NCAA championship title, and an NBA championship title. I need the correct name. The only player to win a high school national title, an NCAA national title, and an NBA national title. I need the correct name. I need the correct name. So you guys in the private chat, you saw it. So I mean, I have T Pain winning it. Yep, I see T Pain with it too. Good work, T Pain. Lou Alcinder is the correct answer. Please email me there with your shipping information, and I will send it to you. Nice work. Like I said, his he was Lou. He was Lou Alcindor when he won in high school at UCLA and the first championship with the Milwaukee Bucks. Then he changed his name to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So that's why Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is not – that's why I said I need the correct name. So Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's name was not going to be in the NCAAs or in high school uh, basketball. So that's why I said I need the correct name. So that's why Lou Alcindor wins and not Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. All right, so for my auction lot, we're going to do the Infinity Gauntlet series. All these are extremely high grade, no issues. You can just send them off if you want. I'm going to start this at $10. So Infinity Gauntlet number one, number two. Number three, number four, number five, 
Number five. And number six. So should be able to do it in ten dollars shipping. Oh, beta ray, beta ray knows what's up. So, like I said, absolutely pristine condition in my garage for the past 27, 28 years. Not a spine tick, not a crease, not a roll. Like I said, you always send it to your clean and press person. If they have anything to do with it, they can do it. And I think George Perez is doing private signings right now, too. Well, you, you know, like to knock yourself out. Still like, a good book to have signed. I had three of the Infinity Gauntlet number ones, but not, and I got two of the sixes. But this is the only full series that full series run I have. And like I said, all the colors pop. All of them in really, really good shape. Very good series. Very good series. I mean, look at that cover. I think you don't find you don't find these these series books really around in, in the in the in the back issue bins anymore. Hard to find. Got a nice Galactus cover there. Does Galactus, does Galactus win? I mean, uh, does Thanos win in this series? You know, I read it back in <laughs> I read it back in ninety one. I do not remember. No, nah, I'm just I'm just playing. Okay, I think the six is a key because I think that's his door. I think that's Gamora. I think yeah, she gets a whole Infinity Gauntlet. Right. Yeah, but her wording, so like, uh, yeah, the way that story that was so good. Like she just she messed it all up, but almost got it correct. You know, <laughs> it was a nice little twist having her in there and how she she got a hold of it. Mm -hmm. Who did I say? I said Nebula, didn't I? Comic fanatic, or who did I say? Oh yeah, it was. We were thinking it. Yeah, it looked like. Yeah, we were thinking Gamora. One of the Gamora, sisters. That's right. One of the yeah. sisters. That's Nebula. Yeah. Yeah, Nebula got it. Appreciate. It. Thanks for correcting us, uh, comic fanatic eighty six. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> All the names run together at this point, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sixty-five, the comic slabs and statue. Sixty-six, double Oh yeah, and did we say thank you to Brian for the super chat? Brian Madrigal sent in a ten-dollar super chat. No, we didn't because I was busy doing something at the moment. But I will thank him in just a minute. Be mad. Edgar Folds. We got double A at 68. Currently the high bidder. Comic Slabs Fold. Thank you, sir. And statues. All right, so Edgar folded comic slabs and statues folds. Uh, is it just AA? Yep, that's all I see. Okay, congrats to AA 68 plus shipping. So, nine dollars shipping, so 77 total. Uh, just send, hit me that and PayPal, put your shipping notes in there, and I'll confirm it once I get it. Thank you, sir. All right, and big shout out to uh. 
Brian Magical. I'll be messing with him, calling him D-Mad, but Brian Magical. Hey, yeah, he's actually going to be on the panel uh, maybe next week or the week after. So nice. thank you to him. He says, to the legends that gifted us with comics and to the people on here who brought me my passion back to comics last year. You know, that's a good point because even though we try to get new people into the uh, hobby, it's always good when you revive an old one yeah. back to the yeah. hobby too. That was, so I mean, that was so what, much. that was what happened to me. Like around, you know, New Fifty Two started was when I found like people on YouTube doing comic mm -hmm. reviews and talking about comics. Boom! I dove right back in. <laughs> uh -huh. We we ain't we ain't looking back yet. I dove back in on Convergence and almost left. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a buy it now. I have the Phantom 32, the CGC 9.4. It is a pedigree. So if you've never had a what? this would be your chance. Like the dog food? No, it's uh, tell us what a pedigree means, uh, Adrian. Pedigree basically, it was if it was part of like uh, a whole collection of books that somebody owned, like a Big collection of books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like they were the original purchasers of yeah, that book, and they've had like a huge collection. And then, yeah, in this, in this case, this one they got it. Like almost every one of them graded. So very nice. You don't wow. see that's the first books. pedigree. No, you don't. That's the first pedigree I've ever seen in auction. <laughs> even for an older book, I mean, it's not super old. It's a nine point four. It's not something people get every day. But um, so for a buy it now, I was going to do. I'll give somebody a chance to get cheap. 135 by it now. Okay. Did you see 9.4? Cool black nice. label. Your chance to have your yeah. own label. It is nice. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So, I got another big stack of books here. <laughs> There's 24 books in this one, and it is a monstrous lot. Um, nice. I do not have issue one or nine in here, so it's missing one and nine. Uh, but these are all near mint. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start this lot at fifty bucks, guys. All near mint. So, like I said, it's missing one and nine. It starts with two here, though. And basically, yeah, it goes to 20, 24. And then I got like one, one variant in here of number ten. It's like the spawn variant. You'll see when I get to it. So yeah, it's a uh, twenty-four comics. So it's you know two to twenty-four, but it's missing you know obviously missing one and nine. So starting at fifty booms. And there's the there's the variant. Nice. You get two number ten, so it's like you're getting a nine. But <laughs> Yeah, great series. I don't know if this one's been announced that it's been picked up yet, but this one will surely be picked up if it hasn't already. Oh, uh, yeah. Or something. We're starting at 50, and obviously this will be 15 bucks shipped because it's just not going not gonna to fit in a really small mailer. <laughs> hey, what did you want in there? Negative. Oh, we started two? Yep. Yep. It, started, it goes from two to 24 in here. Two to twenty-four. All right. Yep, it's missing number nine, and obviously number one. But I tried to get like a number one nine, just so I could put it all as one. But it, I honestly couldn't find one anywhere. The web is saying HBO has picked it up. There we go. Thanks, XCOM. Well, there you go. You could have almost an entire freaking series here. Get yourself into some monstrous action. And if HBO picks something up, man, you better get it now because HBO does good shows. Right? They do. That they do. Yeah. Did y'all see the trailer for The Boys 2? No, I haven't seen it yet. Or The Boys Season 2? Yeah, man. Is it looking awesome? Yeah, it does. Nice. Can't wait. Can't wait. Well, big old stack, guys, here. 50 bucks starting. I think that's a great price to start at. It's too crazy. I do not have number one, buddy. It's like I said, it's two through 24. It's missing one and nine. So 
in that in that in this run. What was the starting bid? Uh, fifty bucks, guys. Fifty dollars to start for a monstrous run of monsters. Yep. You know, number two, I think number two itself can fetch between two, uh, 20 and 30, so. Mm -hmm. This beautiful one right here. Yeah. That's another thing about these books, man. Every cover is amazing, <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, 24 issues here total. Because there's two two number 10s. There's the, the spawn variant 10, and then there's the normal one. 20, 23 issues. Yep. 23 issues. Very, yeah. Two through eight and two ten through twenty four. He wants to leave from Is that by image? It is by image. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good old image. I forgot this image one over here. Hey, remember? Okay. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> um, so the fifty dollar start, guys. Okay. And total. Okay. So six twenty eight and six twenty eight. You're going To get to Charlotte. Come on, somebody. <laughs> it's a good deal. It's like, it's like less than cover price, right? Like two dollars an issue. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's way less, especially like I said, because number two goes between twenty and thirty bucks by itself. So. Okay. Nobody willing to take a chance right now. Nobody. Oh well, that's how it goes. If anybody, you know, if anybody is interested in these, and you catch it on the rewind or anything. Hit him up on his okay, email okay. there on the screen or Instagram. Yeah, and he still got his buy it now pedigree. The ones that go to golf All right, Justin, you're next, man. Okay. Uh, Spider Man. We're doing Spider Man. We're gonna start this at a dollar. So just go ahead and start bidding now. Dollar, nine dollar shipping. <laughs> I think it's nine books. Wait, one, two, three, four. Uh, all right, so it's eight, eight books <clears throat> with some number one Spider-Man action, right? Steven Spock, thank you so much for that $1 bid. Thank you, sir. We got Spider-Man number one, Todd McFarlane run, the black and silver cover. The silver variant. Silver variant. The good one. The good one. <laughs> Near Matt. Spider-Man, 29. Oh, Newsstand. Newsstand, baby. Didn't even have that up there. Good, good eye, good eye. Newsstand, Spotty, twenty ninety nine, number one. Spider Man Unlimited, number one. Ooh, first shriek. What? 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 She's gonna be in the movie too. Yes, she is. Everybody jump. All right. And we're also throwing in a spectacular Spider Man number one. Well, I guess you're. And then some fun stuff. Uh, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, number 116. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, number 119. Because uh, Sabretooth. And a sideways last issue with Todd McFarlane uh -huh. for 16. Yep. 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 Don't all backwards. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just going to show you the backboards, everybody. Make sure we got backboards in here. Uh, <laughs> buddy, buddy Unlimited number one, twenty ninety nine number one, new stand. Silver Spider Man number one, the best cover. And then some sensational number one, spectacular one sixteen, one nineteen, and number sixteen. I live in Carl. 32 Amy, thank you so much. Yeah, if you look at that cover, that Spider Man 16, Spider Man says by Todd. That's kind of oh, a go away, yeah. go away tribute to to him leaving. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think he's drawn a, a, a Spider Man that was published since. 
I hope. Was there a Spider Man Spawn crossover? No. There was not. Okay. I didn't I couldn't remember. But there should be. The Spawn crossover was a Batman one. Yeah, I, well yeah. yeah. But I, I mean well yeah. Yeah. And that exists in Frank Miller's universe, in Frank Miller's Batman universe. Okay. But, okay. but yeah. So I'm looking at five twenty five. So Spawn technically exists in the Dark Knight Returns universe. <laughs> so does Spider One have Blue Blizzard? I don't know. Is that supposed to be like some kind of a printing error or something, Steven Spock? I don't know. Man. Kind of like uh, what was that? Uh, Secret Wars had the blue, blue Galactus or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Or it's just they they messed up on the colors basically. You're just mm -hmm. going the page and messed up. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I can I can open I can open this book and look for a blue lizard. If everybody. <laughs> to open it up. Oh, open it on. up. That's where we're going when I was talking. Grab this to Mississippi 192. Sorry, cold. <laughs> You're good. Please don't open it. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to. Oh, it's like it's coming to me. me. Don't touch it. All right, Jeff Stillman Smith is at 40. Wow. There's one more book I could add to this. I thought there was something. Going You're good. We only had two folds, so let's see if this will work or not. All the cheaper ones are straight to. He said, "If it does, it totally changes the price." No, let's we'll see if it does. But just because. So let's just get this up to one. It's two so now let's try. All right. So let's just get this up to a nut odd or an even number of books. Since we had the two Spider Man, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider Man's with uh, Sabretooth in there, we're going to throw in a Power Man and Iron Fist 84, fourth appearance, Sabretooth. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing that in there for everybody. Here. Just, just for fun. It's got some issues, but it's a solid guy. Three thirty-three. And then who that's going to do the first appearance of Sabretooth after you, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that took one of my you, you, your your life took one of my lives out of play. No, oh. that's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Hey, it's, it's fine. Not a problem. I want to ask you on the um, the Spider Man one. Do you have? Did, did you ever come across the platinum the platinum one? That's a tough book to get. Yeah, no, I haven't. Okay. So remember, I, I just I got the regular have, cover in the silver. I just actually have one of those somewhere in my garage. Hit me up privately. Hit me up privately if you want to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> now, I remember I mean, my, my, my LCS at the time sold it to me for eighty bucks. Wow, eighty bucks at the time. Wow. You sold me that money. Real quick, I think that's uh, it. McFarland had McFarland had signed. I think that's it. I think it goes to Amy for fifty-five. Yep. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry, Bob. I just, I just wanted to. Uh, I didn't want the people in the chat held up. Uh, yeah. So I, yeah, I think the platinum uh, Harold and the gold Walmart UPC like are like the most expensive ones. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the uh, PayPal email to Amy. Amy. Yep. Oh, also, sorry. This was that was going to be my last one. I got to drop off, guys. Okay. Um, but yeah, big thanks for everybody who showed up in the chat on this panel tonight. Everybody's been great. 
lots of great books so a lot of fun as always um and then amy yep that was 55 so that's 64 total get these spider-mans out to you with some uh, some good stuff but yeah uh thanks so much for having me on edwin i really appreciate it again guys thanks so much for being a part of this panel it's always a lot of fun and uh yeah i'll be back slinging some more with you soon so well, thank you thank you all right, Justin, have a good night, man. Thanks a lot. All right, we'll move along to who we have. All right. All right, still have the buy it now for the Spider Woman Michael Turner sketch variant. Limited to 200 out there, $150. I have, uh, I'll do this book. I have it at a VF, um, possibly better, but uh, this has, looks like a little tanning. I don't know if that's tan, like, you know, but it's not as white as it is here, but I think it's still a VF, I think seven, five, possibly better. Uh, no big old ticks, no color breaking ticks, no, no big old creases, none of that stuff. So, um, oh, let's just let's start the bidding at uh, how many people are in chat? It's only 97. 97. Well, let's start at 100. Yeah. Oh, get out of here, David. <laughs> David. What's up, sneaking there, man? <laughs> what do you grade that at? VF. Uh, VF. I think seven five maybe mm. better, but uh, somebody already went to one fifty. Yeah, first appearance of Sabretooth, people. First appearance of Sabretooth, Iron Fist fourteen. Key book. I know I'm not the only one who wants this. Where's everybody at? We got almost 100 people in the they chat. They got Brandon Stonsky at 150. Yeah, but it's just me and him. I'm surprised. And they don't, they must be sleeping. Oh, you, you didn't you knock everybody out the box there. Mm -hmm. Big money yet. You didn't knock everybody out the box. Hey, Jeff, it's about a VF. I ain't big money. I just, I've been wanting that book. And oh, I don't need it. Like a super high grade. Look at Jeff. Jeff the Geek. Um, VF, I say VF range. Um, I think low end seven five. But has it been cleaned uh, or pressed? No, not at all. I say not clean or press at all. And you see, no big old. No hey, hey, you you can you can do it, Edwin. Man, two hundred five. Law, man. Man, man, I'm, I'm not supposed to be spending man. money tonight. Celebrate ever? You know that? Celebrate. <laughs> you know hey, hey. Yeah, baby. I'm like, come on now. Yeah, the, 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 the corners are not too bad. You see that corner? No, nah, it, it, it's a nice book, man. Mm -hmm. Celebrate ever? Snap man, I, my pockets ain't that deep. That's a good question. <laughs> the Marvel value, does it got the Marvel value stamp? <laughs> It, it 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 does. I'll double check though. I mean, that's why I took. I put the blue. I put the blue tape on it just to show people. I didn't want to have any accidents with a book like this. Mm. Every penny I made in move going out. The the value stamp should be Count Chocula, I believe. Count Chocula. <laughs> I thought it was Boo Bear. Oh, maybe it was. <laughs> Mike, are you serious? <laughs> He's like, I know somebody can clean the press for you. Man. F 
Frankenberry. <laughs> Y'all get me hungry, man. Oh, no, I'm having some cereal now. Man, the cereal, man, that's like dessert <laughs> at nighttime. I know. I know. Sure. Plus, I'm with cereal. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, some crunch berries. Cat crunch. How do you that Cheerio? Mm -hmm. Very good, Roman. How chocolate? Cereals. <laughs> pages of how you stamp on. My trooper? Oh, cool. Uh, uh, value stamp for that book would be. Let's try Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Black Bolt. It's not Brother Voodoo. Uh, yes, I'm tripping. I'm it's just half one. Maybe we're wrong. Hey, everybody, hey, oh, man. somebody guess what uh, Edwin have his zero for? There's no pages missing from this book. Let me grab mine. Where the hell is mine at? Mine is right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to take some off of us, that. So if they ain't got no stamp, I ain't, ain't going to put Even it up. Even says no stamp. It doesn't have a stamp. That's why I was like, man, I'm. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I, I just does not. Fourteen does not have a stamp. I was like, I was like, what are y'all talking? I'm like, man, I'm looking <laughs> through. Was the one that that asked. Asked. Oh, Stephen Spock was the one that asked. I was like, I was like, I'm not out here missing the pages. Like, <laughs> Iron Fist number one. I was like, man, Marvel premiere and all those other ones. Yeah. So that one just, it just, they never put a Marvel value stamp in that one. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. Yeah, they just put one in. Uh, Iron Fist number one, number one is the only one that has it. So uh -huh. I was like, "Hold up, man!" I was like, "I know I looked at kind of the pages." All right, so uh, well, I think everybody folded though. Yeah, let me go ahead. I can't. Come well, on, celebrate, Evan! Nah, <laughs> celebrate! I didn't want to in the air and everything. It's, this this beautiful copy. Oh, look at that, man. Yeah, I don't want to go more than like 185. Come on, twenty more dollars, seventy more dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're to spend your money, man. I think that's yeah, right. right. Yeah. It's easy to spend somebody else's money, huh? All right, I think that sort of thing goes to uh, HMR. And HMR hmm. already has uh, shipping included, so wow, congrats! All right. <laughs> He's, he's like, how'd I get myself into this? <laughs> All right. So, uh, well, two right. books I didn't want to sell, but hey. Mm -hmm. What was on me? Yes, sir. The low, low price of, uh... oh, I'm sorry. Um, I couldn't find, find it either. I can tell you what's on page 13, though. <laughs> I got something like a Spider Man lot. Something, something like, like a Spider Man. Spider Man relatives. All right, I got Amazing Spider Man from the 2015 series number one. The um, Unlimited Game variant for Spider Verse. Let's see all the characters there on the cover. Mm -hmm. No big deal. We go throw up a. Crispy Mint copy of Marvel Secret Wars 2015, number one. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And if you watched the thorough Chop It Up, my personal spec book from the 2014 series of Amazing Spider-Man, the comic exposures variant from 2000, uh, issue nine, it's the first time Silk, Spider-Gwen, and Spider-Woman meet. And it's the first time they're on the cover together. Nice. So super cute. This is the first time they're on the cover together. Comic Exposure Variant. Issue 9. Amazing Spider-Man series from 2014. First time they meet. And the first time they're on the cover together. $10 starting bid. $9 ship. Very cool. Eric the Beast is in at 10 I'm going to step away for a second. I got the timer going, guys. Uh oh, you must have some bad, have some bad milk. No. Nah. <laughs> you got the sketch variant of that uh, that last one there, Rome? Absolutely. I got two of them. 
I got my I got three and two. I think that's what I got. I, I grabbed them quick as I could. It's my personal spec book. You gonna put that sketch variant in the lot? Uh, no sir, no sir, <laughs> no sir. I'm gonna keep the sketches for a while. This is an early start for somebody to grab one of these, one of these uh regular. You know, right now you still get these at a good price. Mm hmm. Mr. Well, Taz, I see him at 46. Mr. Taz, let me help my boy Roman out. Them Secret Wars ones, man, something for like $100, man. What's, what's going on? Hey, man, I'm, I'm being nice, you know. This is, we get close to the end of the night. This is slap worthy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is slab worthy. Yeah, put that sketch for in there. I'll, 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 be, I'll be jumping in, baby. I got, I got, I got, I, I want to hold on to those for a minute. <laughs> Come on, man. Throw one in, man. Throw one in. <laughs> Come on. Hold on to the sketch variant for a while. Dude. First time. First time. Hundred to throw the sketch variant in. First time all three are on, on the cover together, and this is the book where all three met. I know. You're ahead of the game with this book. You're ahead of the game with this book. Now you way ahead of the game with that sketch variant, baby. You go great. I think they still loaded like 70, 80, 90 bucks on, you know, eBay. <laughs> nobody, nobody even sells the sketch variant and the uh and the regular variant together. They make sure they keep them separate. I'm trying to figure that out. Usually people put them in a package deal. Mm. I didn't see nothing together. No more. <laughs> I got Amy at 80, Bolo at 75. I got G Rip at 60, and Taz still at 46. I got Annie at 80. Amy at 80. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, where are they? You know what? <laughs> no, nah, I ain't gonna do it. I almost did it. Thought about it for a hot second. <laughs> he thought about it for a hot second. Well, hot second. Hot second. I have to go get it to go put one in. I don't, I don't feel like it. You can go get it. Nah, you can get it. We'll wait. We'll wait. Exactly. We ain't going nowhere. Go ahead, Roman. Get that sketch right, baby. I will rate right here. Mm -hmm. I'll even, throw in a, I'll even throw in a bid to make sure I, I, I keep my place. Hold on, man. Hold on. Here go. Grab y'all a sketch, man. Y'all got Where are you talking? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everybody stand by. Stand by. Y'all better keep the bidding coming. <laughs> right. Where are you? That's what I'm talking about. We had eight, no, 90 now. DLE. DLE said, I saw that book that's in there. DLE, I thought, never mind. You must have didn't get that. I saw you was trying to buy one of them books. <laughs> she lost it. Let me get in there for everybody, folks. That's right. I'm lucky. Wait a minute. Where the hell I put them? We got so much stuff around here. I had to put a miles in there. What happened to what happened to Roman Curtis? I got oh, he went uh, he went to go get another book to add to the lot. That's uh that's what he said. Yeah. In fact, I got stuff everywhere. I can't find the damn book. Uh oh. See he, he naked? Is that why you had to turn off the light? <laughs> <laughs> check check uh, make sure uh let's see, make sure that's right, make sure you said before you turn that you got she got to come back roman curtis after dark oh man boy, right? boy, boy. i'm telling you young baby, you don't want to see Ro man i seen roman curtis was after dark on instagram one time had the lights and the music but i said boy he at the club don't even know he lied. Don't even know he lied. Yo, boy, that was funny. Here, I found it. <laughs> oh, he found it. 
found it. I found it. We at one twenty now. This is what y'all want—a slab worthy sketch variant. I'll put that in there then. Oh wow! Ooh, ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Roman, what don't you have, man? Where is it? <laughs> no, not, a, not, a, not, a, not a not a thing on it. The book has never been open. Oh man, oh, man, as long as it, man, he got everything. Man, worthy. <laughs> wow. And this one has not a tick on it either. Mm. They've never been open. First time Silk, Spider Woman, and Spider Gwen meet. And the first time they're on the cover together. Bob Morales, too. Yeah. Boy. Dang, Jeff Silversmith. When you do something crazy, yeah. A lot of people out there watching, I can put a miles in there and make it crazy. Uh oh, uh oh. And what miles you trying to put in there? What yeah. kind of miles you trying to put in there? I'm like, second, I, I, second. I, we got we look. I hit y'all with the who that prices then. Who <laughs> <laughs> that prices? We going a little crazy. I'm going big crazy. crazy. A little crazy. Hit, with that. His yeah, face on. Who that price? Throw some slab worthy in there. We have to hit you with the who that. Price. Oh. Who <laughs> <laughs> that? Price. Throw some slab worthy in there also. Uh, I, really, I love it. And not like that second print there. Uh. <laughs> yes. Sarah Pacelli. Sarah Pacelli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to hit you with the who that prices then. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they good right now. They got miles right there. Slab worthy. Yeah, That'd be a good one to have Mike Zek sign too, maybe. You can get signed and everything right now. With Zek and uh BD go via CGC. Yeah, I think August 3rd is the last day mm -hmm. they accepted submissions. Then BD, Zek, and Shooter. Miles Morales getting a lot of attention this auction. Might as well. Yes, he is. Hey, I was doing. I just threw one little, one little miles. I threw the ladies up though. I plan on throwing this one up. Y'all have caught me into one of my sketches. <laughs> I was trying to hold on to these. It was big money time. Oh man, DLE, yeah, look, guys, it's people still bidding, man. Still bidding. Uh -huh. Might not be big money, but it's little money. It'll work. Yeah, I said little money equals big money. I was about to say I had to throw three hundred in to get that uh, that miles out of my hand. That's the only one uh -oh. I got. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Well, what, heard what heard miles it. you talking about, man? Which miles you talking about? Nah, I'm not saying nothing. Sarah. I'm trying to keep that one. That's only miles. He's talking about the Sarah Pacelli. Is the Sarah Pacelli nine point eight candidate? I think he's talking about slab worthy. Was that Italian one? Oh uh, yeah, I guess that's she Italian. I don't know. Second print. <laughs> I gotta keep this, y'all. I'm sorry, it's not in. I'm just showing you. That's yeah, the second print. I already do. Hey, what if somebody bid the three hundred? Is going? You said a hundred. Oh, that one. Oh, hey, okay. my man. Hey, got two words for you. Let me <laughs> know. I have two words for you. Let in down, baby. You know what? You know what? You want? You want to hear a crazy story? Um, a friend of mine found in the dollar bin the ultimate Fallout number four, but it gets better than that. It had a printing error that at the barcode it said Black Panther. And oh he got graded at a nine four, and before all the hype, before the hype, he he, oh. he ended up taking twelve hundred for it on eBay. Mm. Oh, Could you God. imagine what it what if he held on to it? That's not the only one that had that printing error. They said a raw copy uh, sold for nine hundred. A raw copy, the you know, one you said it was graded, that was a raw yeah. copy. So, so, so you've like, seen it before geez. too. Yeah, it they had a raw Panther copy. On it? Yeah, yeah. yeah they had a raw copy stuff for over nine hundred, and I was like, what? Mm-hmm. Yep, so we're at 220. What? Someone outbid me? Come on. <laughs> yeah, I thought <laughs> you put the hammer down too. I thought I because I ain't see no movement. <laughs> That's right. I was I was, I was I was I was looking around. <laughs> oh come on, man. You got that amazing Spider-Man 9 sketch variant. Mm. The ladies are looking nice on there. 
He put this up. This, this those should blow up in a few years when they put him in the movies. Well, Spider Gwen already in the movie, so once they break out Silk, mm-hmm. it's Spider Gwen, and it's the first yeah. time they met and the first time they on the cover mm-hmm. together. He's spending all my money. Don't you got to sell subjects to break even. You know, you got to well, do I about mean, three I, more rounds. I made, I made, I made a decent. I, I, I did so. I did all right last night. Y'all going to last night's money now? <laughs> Big Ben said that the Black Panther error and the Ultimate Fall on newsstand a nine eight sold today for eighty one hundred. Dang. Good God. Said a, said a what? Oh, Big Black Ben Panther. seventy said the Black Panther oh, yeah. error. Yeah, went for wow. eighty nine point eight. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Shoot. All right. Shoot. So take DLB that. Fold. I take that book and buy me some nice silver age and save the other half. <laughs> right. <laughs> or get another turtles number one. Oh yeah, for that type of money. Yeah, that's true. Yep. All right. So Jeff Silversmith comes back at two fifty. Oh. Damn, boy, Jeff Silversmith. He hey, the man name is Silver Smith. He got some silver saved up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot <of> though. <laughs> It's just between uh, Law and Silversmith. Man, see, we almost had 300, man. Romy, you got to throw that other book in there. Right, man. right. Let him down. That's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, what issue is that one? Amazing Spider-Man 9. Right. 9 variant uh, comics full of uh, things with black and white. Yeah. This is the yeah, future spec books. Well, you know, they're going to meet up one day. They're going to all three of them. Spider-Man Alpha. What was it? Spider Woman, Spider Woman Alpha. Wasn't that what it was called? This is before that. First time they meet, first time they're on the cover together. Issue nine of the 2014 series. The variant. They had a bunch of variants for issue nine. Roman, I'm going to do your prices right, man. <laughs> was that the guy going up the mountain, right? That's right. It's, it's <laughs> All right. So, law folds. It goes to Jeff Silversmith for two fifty. Congratulations, Jeff sir. Jeff Silversmith is a value customer. I got the shipping. Just two fifty, Jeff. Just. Dang, man! Yeah. Law, law. I guess law would have to pay for it. Huh? What a say. guy! <laughs> I wasn't telling nobody that to the end. I didn't want nobody to. You know, they have, they have a nice price right now. I'm gonna tell them that at the end. Bro, bro, we got a winner. You don't have to keep showing the books, bro. <laughs> hey, what, uh, what happened to Josh Easy? Anybody heard about him? Uh, Josh, oh, uh, no, he did send me his address, but uh, well, he bought this last night. I guess he don't want it, so I just put this back in the PC. Too. <laughs> so he's out there. He he, he talks about he drinks and bids sometimes, so maybe that's what's going on. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so uh, throw it in my box, Roman. Throw it in my box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got 91 people watching. I want to thank everybody. Um, after th- after me right here, we'll all do one more round, and then we'll wrap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I was like, uh-oh, this is what happened. <laughs> I thought it was my end. Yeah, was, uh, uh, I get you. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. The clock is still uh, – Justin, are you out there? McFly, no, Justin left. Justin oh, left, and uh, and uh, and Adam um, left. McFly left. Hey, yeah. Y'all hear us talking? Anybody out there? In, uh, uh, Mr. Taz, Nola, Jeff, Brian. Anybody can hear us still talking? Let's uh, say frozen dog. Oh, oh, there, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. What'd you say, Ron? Oh. <laughs> Tell that Walmart internet work. <laughs> you got it working. Man, you're not even lying. I'm about to I'm about to change service providers to be honest with you. 
Um, so I'll put it in the chat. Do you guys want some Silver Age or I got some Golden Age? I'll, I'll see what the ooh, chat wants. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is Airboy the Barbarian in the chat? Mm. No, probably not. He's tending to some some family matters as well. So, all right, oh, man, yeah, I forgot play. he was supposed to be on here. Huh? Yeah, I hope he's like, hope yeah, he's past two right. in a row. Yeah. So let's see. I see one golden. That's T Pain. What was the other? You said oh, golden or whatever. Silver. Gold or silver. <laughs> Right. Get the bids enough, you might get gold. I figure what people are gonna put, but I should have said if you bid, if you say gold, you got a bid on it. But um, all right, so this is going to be somewhat of a uh, different lot, probably not what everybody's used to. Um, before you guys go looking on eBay, but I can't take less than ten dollars a piece. Um, at, uh, for these books right now, um, even though I know they usually go for more on eBay. So I'll start with the... Uh, actually, I got a four book lot. Three of them are golden, and one is a silver. So we'll start with this one, start from the newest, and we'll go down to the oldest. Uh, this is 1959. Donald Duck, number 68. 1959. This is the only Silver Age book in this lot. And next I have a... Oh, and I have this at about a VG Plus Fine 5.0, 5.5 condition. I got a 1952 Donald Duck number 26. It's about a VG, about a 3.0, 3.5. Um, starting bid is going to be forty dollars. It's ten dollars a piece. I got a nineteen fifty uh, four color, four color comics two ninety one. It's about a one point five two point oh. And then the oldest comic book that I have nineteen forty nine. Four color comics, two thirty-eight. It's about a uh, two copy. So really, really old, low to mid grade Disney comics. Um, starting bid is forty bucks, ten dollars a piece, and it'll be uh, nine dollars shipping. So these books usually go for about. 15 to 20 dollars a piece all day but i got so many of these disney books that i'm gonna start out a little bit lower world war ii yeah maybe the end of world war ii but they're all really really old like i said this is 1952 and this one is 1950. appreciate that polka dot peach um, I know people are going to go on eBay and all that stuff, but like I said, the prices, the sold listings, all that, it really varies, guys. Um, these are really old books. And you can go on eBay and get some if you want. Um, if the price gets up there, or, you know, I'll add stuff to it or just throw in some free Disney stuff, Disney related. But I think what I'm asking is very fair, very reasonable. This is the only Silver Age, it's uh, 1959. This is mid grade, about a five, five point five, number sixty eight. Donald Duck, number sixty eight, and this is the, uh, yeah, I agree, Mister Tez. Um, this is nineteen forty nine. It's a four color, number two hundred and thirty eight. It's about a two point oh. Um, really old Disney. Really, really old. So, so 1949, so that's a pretty decent amount of time, right? 1950, 1952, number 26, Donald Duck, number 26. Thank you, Tony NY Jr. And 1959, Donald Duck. And I'm really digging these uh old disney books i just got the first appearance of 
Flint Heart, Glumgold, and the first appearance of the Beagle Boys in comics over the past week. So I'm really digging these books. And actually, because I got such a huge collection, some of them are going to get sent off for grading. So plenty of time still left on the clock. I know people might want to do their research, but um, this is very, very fairly priced. And three out of the four are Golden Age comics, guys. Uh, maybe if uh, uh, First Edition is in the house, maybe he could throw a little knowledge or educate us a little bit. But I think that he would probably agree, agree with me. Yeah, I like the Beagle Boys too. Uh, Dragon Ball talk. <clears throat> I tried to look at the first appearance of Donald Duck. Man, he does not. He he did not look how, like how he does now. He had he had a much longer beak, and he looked kind of a kind of like a, go, a goose or something like that. Yeah, Carl Barks. Yeah, I think Carl Barks. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Polka Dot. So this is a uh, four color number two, four color comics number two thirty eight from 1949. It's about a 2.0. But these these Disney books, I think they had cotton in them when they made them because they're more they're more flimsy and not like brittle with the Marvel chipping that you get in the 60s. Uh, this is. Uh, Four color comics, two ninety one from nineteen fifty. Two ninety one from nineteen fifty. This is uh, four color comics, number twenty six from nineteen fifty two, if I'm not mistaken. From nineteen fifty two, and now uh, this is Donald Duck. If I, I think this is Donald Duck, uh, number sixty eight from nineteen fifty nine. This is the highest grade. It's about a 5.0, 5.5. Um, this is about a VG, about a 3.0, 3.5. This one is about a 1.5, really just because of the spine, you know, full disclosure. But it's from 1950. I mean, they're Disney comics, 1949. Uh, it's about a. This one's about a 2.0. Um, restart your, restart your I don't think any of these are like any kind of key. They're just really old. <laughs> yes, Stephen Spock. Exactly. Yep, Grandma's Ducks and, and Farm Friends. I, that's. Uh, I think that's Donald Duck's. If I'm not mistaken, Donald Duck's first appearance. I forget what number. But I think it's from like the 19, is it the 1930s? It's like 34, 32, something like that. All right. Tony Foles. Tony, I appreciate the bids, man. So congrats to Polka Dot Peach. And um, there's my PayPal. You know, please send friends and family. And uh, I'll, I'll send in a couple of freebies for you. You know, some free uh, other Disney uh, related comic books keep it consistent so i really appreciate that all right we'll move it along to hgm law all right and to um i gotta pay for some of my books tonight so i had to dig into my silver age lot we're gonna do a fantastic four build a lot and we're gonna start with fantastic four issue number 75 in really, really good grade, really nice condition. You know, very, very good book. Colors pop. Really, really nice cover. 75. We're going to start this one at, um, I'm going to start at 50. Issue number 78. Thing No More. Again, another really, really good grade. On this book, really nice colors, really nice cover, beautiful cover. Issue number 96. Also, again, this is a decent grade book. 
the Mad Thinker first appearance of that. And if it makes it to a hundred, I'll throw in this. This is a this is a I want to say it's a good good copy. Say like a three point oh to a five. First appearance of him. Mm -hmm. Big big book, sixty seven. That's if it makes it a hundred, then I'll throw that in. But right now we're at. So you know, so if you want to just bid a hundred, then in it goes. I mean, we're we're in play. I say issue seventy five. Fantastic for this is a be beautiful cover, beautiful Kirby cover. There you go, Nola. All right, issue number seventy eight. The thing no more. Another beautiful cover. And you spell it 110. I'm going to step away for a second. I'll be right back. All right. Who else is here to watch the, watch the, watch the chat? chat? I'll, I'll be back, man. It, it'll be fine. Okay. I, but yeah, that, that, ask the rest of the panel. I might want to help. All right. So I got Jeff Silversmith at 115. So the first appearance of him is in. Nola Comics at 125. Nola at 125. Is that is that Harry Potter man? I'm talking. I'm, I'm hearing it. <laughs> Harry Potter. All right. We got Jeff Silversmith at 130. <laughs> I mean these cover. I, 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 you know, I don't know how they pick, how they made these covers so vibrant. Badger, you just just don't do it anymore. Yeah, Nola back at one thirty-five. All right. Jeff, uh, Jeff at one forty. Uh, Roman's helping out. Thanks so much, sir. No, look back at one fifty. Is there only two left? Oh, I guess so. Oh yeah, Jeff and yeah, Jeff and uh, Noah. Two ones I got. Andrew Andrew did not fold yet. Yet he was back at one ten. I think he's looking him up. Yeah, 160 with Jeff Silversmith. Uh, polka dot peach, I got payment. Thank you, sir. All right, Andrew Foles, but there's actually still plenty of time on the clock. Um, high bidder Jeff Silversmith at 160. I've pressed and cleaned two of those books this week. That first appearance of Miss of him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, Noah's in at 175. He says to try and get Lawman some money back tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good to see the community helping each other out. That's right. Oh. In exchange, you're getting some really nice books, Mr. Nola. Getting some really nice books. All right, Jeff Silversmith is in at 180. That's the clock. But let me see here. 
So it's Jeff. It's between Jeff and Noah. I think that's it. Because Andrew folded. So it's just those two going back and forth. Um, Jeff has a high bid at 180. Uh, one day I hope to get a nice page from Jack Kirby. Mm. You're good, Nola. I mean, I feel like when we get into the bigger books, the, the bigger money books, like, you know, I do want to keep it consistent, but I understand trying to bend the rules a little bit and give people plenty of time to think it over. All right, so Nola comes back at 185. Nice. What say you, Jeff Silversmith? You know, back in the day when I started collecting, I was a Neil Adams fan. I, I I will not lie, I was a Neil Adams fan, and I was not a Jack Kirby fan because I liked Neil Adams better at the time. <laughs> but you know, because Neil Adams just drew a Batman, it was just couldn't quit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hit him and I mean Kirby and and Neil Adams. They were doing like probably two or three books a month. Mm hmm. So Jeff Silversmith is a high bidder now. He said last bid two hundred. And the great thing about those artists back then was that they drew the entire book. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And and to be honest, I mean, it, it, as good as those guys are, I still don't think, I don't think that they added the amount of detail that the, a lot of the artists did in the 90s, like with, you know, McFarlane and, and all those guys. You know, there were just a lot more time put into those, some of those pages. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think that I I don't think that all the detail that those guys added was the Marvel way of doing books. They pretty much evolved mm -hmm. uh, the way artists did those books. All right, all right. So I'm sorry. So Nola wins. Jeff folds. Okay. So it goes to Nola for two hundred five plus shipping. All right. So shipping's gonna be nine dollars. Just put in there, and I'll get this packed up for you. Sent out. Thank you, sir, and I'll confirm on the chat. Nice. And then he got a message in the private chat to uh, uh, okay. uh, Harold. All right, Adrian. What's up, man? Hey, you. All right, still got this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to knock it down just a little bit if anybody's interested. Uh, 9.4 pedigree, phantom number 32, CDC 9.4. I'm going to do 125 right now, 125. Dang. Great deal for a great book. I got this. Uh, monster slot it is two through 24 minus uh number nine there's no number nine so it's two through 24 uh no number nine uh you know what i'll do i'll do 55 ship if somebody wants this it's a super great deal number two itself like i said goes for between 20 and 30. you'll do just dandy Mosquito, there's a mosquito in here. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so this is buy it now. Uh, 55, yeah, 55 buy it now. Uh, 24 books. Monstrous, get your monstrous on. Okay, and then for auction here, let's go with uh, we're gonna go with this thing. I don't even know what this is, but oh my gosh! A book. Hey, hey, I, hey! Some people might not know what that is. Why don't you tell them, just in case you got some people that don't even know what that is? <laughs> I hope everybody knows what this is. Uh, this is Todd McFarlane's first like pro work. You know, mm -hmm. first yeah, published you know. work. What condition is that in? Uh, it's all good. Besides, where is it? Da -da -da -da. There you go. You can kind of, there. You can kind of see that. Oh, I see it. That's the corner. That corner has that little thing. Yeah, still though, that's a. That Otherwise, point. here I'll show you the rest. What's the starting bid? Um, I'll start it at. How about I'll start it at thirty-five? All right, starting bid thirty-five. If anybody doesn't know, this is Todd McFarlane's first published artwork. It's Coyote Eleven. Key book, in my opinion. Key book. That book has really gone up. Really gone up. Yeah. See, Otago Dan knows what's up. 
The only major issue is right there, and that's... Yep. Yep. That book has really gone up recently. And it was a low print run, too. It's uh, They canceled it, I think, at... Was it 14? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I got 14. I might actually... I can find the other coyote, whoever bids can, can just... <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. They brought him on to do that, knowing that they were just going to cancel it anyways. Um, it's funny these artists that take on this this work that nobody really wants to do or nobody wants to be on, and they just take full advantage of their opportunities. And I mean, him and even Liefeld, as much as you want to say, they're still legends right. in the industry. So, so Mr. Taz the High bit at forty. That's a nice book. Kissy Sly. Kill him. I would love to been. I already got a 9.8 signed by him. Oh, nice. That's awesome. So. <clears throat> Of course, he he didn't he decided not to sign his full name and said do the T dot McFarland, but all right, yeah, whatever. Don't forget, guys, I got this twenty four book monster monster slot, fifty five mm -hmm. twenty four books starting with number two. <clears throat> There's no number nine, but you get a whole lot of monstrous for a very very cheap. So very cheap, yeah. Guys, this is Coyote 11. This is first Todd McFarlane published artwork. So Daniel folds already. Mr. Taz has it at 40. Um, this is definitely a must have, especially if you're a McFarlane fan. You have to have this in your collection. JMT's at 42. Gino folds. Good, good book. Good, good book. And it's in high grade, guys. Yep, like I said, they all uh, they the corner there was that the only issue. Major issue. You got somebody that's interested in the monsters. Okay. Cool. Justin Smith, whenever we move, remove the bid at the end of this auction, you can see actually he's got his PayPal email in the video description. So you can send uh, the 55 friends and family to him. The PayPal's in the video description. Uh, JMT is a high bid at 42. Still time on the clock, guys. This is first published Todd McFarlane artwork. High grade book. I'll put all the information in the chat, Justin. If you if you don't find it right away, that's fine. Yeah. Then you can just email me your address or whatnot. So if you're what is it? If you're a Jim Lee fan, you got to have that. Was a Samurai Santa. Um, yeah. This one for McFarlane, and then uh, what was Rob Liefeld's? It was like a, a teddy bear. Uh, first Rob Liefeld published artwork. It was a uh, it was like a bear, oh. like a teddy bear. So I forget. Yeah, that's a million dollar outfit. <laughs> AA is in at forty three. Somebody in the chat. What, what was Liefeld for? It was like a bear. Waiting for somebody to say feet. <laughs> uh, let's see, let me double check. It might be over. Well, Steven Spock was in at a well, no, he was not, he was a way under bid. So, so you think your carry on is standard Yes, yes, Boris the Bear. Thank you. Look at Brian B. Now, <laughs> Brian B. Man, where you at, man? Look at Brian B. That dude. All right, so hold on. So, so uh, JMT 44 AA is at 45. So, it's just between those two guys. He did a full page ad for a shoe company. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Boris the Bear, that's right. Shout out to Big Ben, too, for getting the right answer. You win something somewhere at some point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, JMT's in at 55. When I do experiment, I 
Yeah, I sent I sent two of these books to get signed by him when he was doing that private signing at CGC. Yeah. And they both they both came back nine point eight. Yeah, that's awesome. Super stoked. Yeah. I sold one though. I remember watching him when he was doing that. Yeah. And, uh, did you see the uh did you see where they come in with like a fake uh cart with like five hundred more books from the sign or something like no, that? I didn't see. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, we saw these in the bag. You got like a you know two thousand more books to sign. We forgot. Yeah. You see my latest video? Nah, not yet. I did it. I did uh, Todd McFarlane opening that Spider Man Spider Man booth box. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll check it out. Yeah. All right, so AA folds. It goes to JMT for sixty one plus shipping. So congrats. Yep, congrats, buddy. There's the PayPal email at the bottom left. I'll put everything in. And we'll move it to who that comics and movies. All right. Last lot, last lot of the night. Um, Grimpool, secret, uh, with Deadpool Secret Wars number two variant. Like Mr. Roman Curtis will say, slab worthy. Slab worthy. Good night. Sharp Corners is a great, great looking book. Uh, I know what these are starting for, uh, like a selling for, so let's just. It, I might add some stuff to this, but. It won't be nothing crazy. Let's start the bidding at $35. So you can look up Gwenpool first appearance. This is the variant. Gwenpool in the pool. Very nice. $35. Look up this book. Deadpool Secret Wars number two variant. And I still have to buy it now for the rest of the night. Uh, Iron Man 54, first appearance of Moon Dragon, 7.0 off white pages for 180. $35 starting bid. Like I said, I'll add probably a book or two to the lot. <clears throat> so this book is easily selling for like, like 80 bucks on eBay. That's not checked. Well underpriced. Well underpriced. Somebody might be getting a steal. All right, retro's in at forty. I've seen five. this. What's up? No, I was gonna say we get to fifty. I'll throw in another book. Now, is that the first appearance of Gwenpool? So, um, as far as I know, I thought. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, either, it's like this and Howard the Duck, right? Yeah, it's like okay. this and Howard the Duck. But this one goes for a pretty high. This one predates, yeah, this one predates Howard the Duck. So. Yeah, so this is the one you want. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I'm, I'm ignorant when it comes to Gwenpool, so oh, G Gino says it's the first cover. Okay. Just have so many of those. <laughs> yeah, this is... First cover, but you know, to me, that's a first appearance. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Jeff Silversmith is in at 45. 
Man, I got some major lag with StreamYard, so. Yeah, so, yeah, I was like, when it's when I started, I was like, man, I don't see anything, nobody talking, no nothing. <laughs> then it just started moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got AT and T, and I'm thinking about switching to Comcast. I got. I'm gonna add a. This is gonna be a Scotty Young variant, so somebody goes up to fifty. Yeah, somebody, somebody, bring it up five more. There you go, Gino. Gino's got fifty. Yeah, that fifty. It's a Scotty Young variant, Avengers AI. But I think this is a pretty fun looking color. Vision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is pretty, it's a fun looking color. Dude, they need to market his artwork for nurseries, like baby nurseries. Uh, they need to market that Scotty Young artwork. Still, still basically. Getting getting the Scotty Young for free, but because this yeah. book is listed for, <laughs> I can Jeff, say like way more. Jeff is at fifty five. Um, I don't think anybody's folded. I don't. Yet. I don't think. I don't think we'll get there. Um, I really don't think we we'll get there. Uh, but if we get over a hundred, like I said, over a hundred, not a hundred, over a hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, at Deadpool Max number five, high grade, slab worthy copy. Look it up. Deadpool Max five, first lady taskmaster. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, they got a nine six for like what, 500 on there and a 9.8. It's like 1500. I don't see any other graded copies on there. And they got some, they got raw copies on there, but it says like 6 0. Who wants a six old copy beat up for like thirty bucks? You know. Mm -hmm. so. so if you can look up, people might be typing, looking up on eBay. Deadpool Max number five, First Lady Taskmaster. Yes, Brian, slap worthy. Yeah, and slap you can slap whoever you want to. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Ultimate Spider Man is Ultimate Taskmaster, but I, this is a uh, uh, female Taskmaster. Lady Taskmaster. Uh, and I don't think they have actually confirmed 100% if it's a male or female Taskmaster. I know I haven't seen anything. So you got two books so far added. Like I said, if we got over 100, I'll do that. Yes, so clear on the privacy and All right, so right now it's just between Jeff and Gino Benino. Um uh, oh, so not well, Gino, I guess you're technically right. It says first appearance of female taskmaster. It's not in Marvel continuity, but it's the first appearance of female taskmaster. Because it's the Max series, you know, the Max series. So that continuity, continuity, whatever you want to call it, is still first, first overall appearance. All right. See you later, Otaku Dan. Okay, so we have a winner. Goes to Jeff Silversmith, Geno Folded, and Retro Times Folded. Yep. So it's going to be 69. I think that's why he bid 60. <laughs> 69 total. Uh, for those two books, unless you wanted to throw in 45, and I'll throw that one in. But if not, it's okay. Uh, you got a Jeff Silversmith says something about the Iron Man. Do you have a slab? Oh, okay, yeah. oh, oh, uh, I ain't know what he's talking about. Oh, you talking about this one, Jeff? <laughs> Let's make it sure. I'm guessing you're talking about this one because, uh, it's that what I said, 180. Um, uh, 180 plus uh, 60. He says yes. 
180 plus 60 plus 16. So 256, sir. 256 all day for these books. Mm. So. Very cool. All right. PayPal. Yep. There's a PayPal email to Jeff Silversmith, and uh, we'll go to Roman Curtis. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I can. I'm right here. Hold on. Hold on. All right. I just had to go grab a bunch of stuff. I'm just rattling through them. Just digging through the boxes here. Number one, number one, number one, number one, number one. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. All right, Tim Book of Marvel lot here. A gift to y'all. Let's see. Some of y'all will be happy with this. All right, this is considered about a very fine. Deadpool number six, the 2099 variant. That's book one. What's two is Death of the Humans? What do you call this? The designer variant of uh, Vox? Marvel Knights Punisher number one. You believe the first appearance of Punisher's daughter? Then we're throwing in a very fine S caliber number one. Very fine plus with slab words and meat alpha flight number one. Uh Ages of Shield inspired by the TV show. Slab worthy number one. Which one is uh let me see here. Very fine long shot number one. That book is gonna pop. The warrior, the new warriors number one, the first First print, very fine. New Warriors number one. The second print, mm -hmm. and the last book of the ten, Sleepwalker number one. Very nice. Ten dollars starting me a nine dollars ship. There you go. We just close it out like that. Somebody get a nice little lot here. A Copper Age book and some modern. Yeah, you got some key minor keys in there. I think that first long shot is gonna blow up. So we got is it's that a newsstand? That is a newsstand, right? Yeah. Oh snap! Yeah. Deadpool. I mean, a dish Deadpool. Deadpool issue six to twenty ninety nine. Yep. XCOM is at twenty five already. We got Death of the Inhumans. This is the what design. I guess they would call it the designer variant. Yeah. Never been opened near me. That's slab worthy. Uh Punisher 2099 Marvel Knights, issue one. First appearance of his daughter. A direct edition and strict edition. All right. We got Excalibur number one. We got Alpha Flight, number one, first appearance of Puck in Marina. Uh -huh. Inspired by the television series, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We got Long Shot, number one. That's easily a $15 book right there by itself. First appearance, and I think it's the first appearance of uh, Mojo. I think oh, it's Mojo. No, uh, Spiral. Oh, Spiral. Okay. Yeah, Spiral. Mojo. Yeah, Mojo must be four. Yeah, first of the New Warriors, number one. It's my Jeff Johnson special. 
Second print of the New Warriors number one. My other Jeff Johnson special. And then we got Sleepwalker number one. Yeah. All right, Jeff Smith is at eight or thirty. <clears throat> Long shot number one. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, R. Adams artwork. That's actually that might be R. Adams' first uh, published. I'm not sure. I have to double check. Who that? That's your job. Double check. <laughs> <laughs> Amy's out. Amy, we thank you for bidding. Thank you so much. That's my job. What I miss? It's a double check. That our Adam first work on uh, long shot number one. Oh, somebody might beat me in the chat anyway. <laughs> Punished to twenty nine nine. I know I only got this book because it's the first appearance of his daughter, and they got two women on the cover. I know that's what that is. Now look at BWL. He says Will's Portacio inks. <laughs> Mouthpiece retracts. Okay, I ain't know what the fuck I'm saying there. Zion, very okay. MT's at 31. Jeff Silversmith is at 35. Yeah, it's the first major work from okay. Adams. Okay, interesting. So, I, man, I was right. And writer, and I don't even know how you say it, man. And no science. So, he did everything except the inks, probably. I'm telling you what, though, man, that dude is still a great artist to this day. He's working, and he still has that consistent, like, because if you look at some of the other guys, like Liefeld and Neil Adams, and they've really kind of gone downhill, I think, with their with their artwork. I just don't think they put in the effort that they used to. Our Adams still has that consistent effort in, in all his stuff. Yeah, Ariel Olivetti is really good too. All right, XCOM folds. Jeff Silversmith is holding at uh, 35. Still a little bit of time left on the clock. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> But in that whole long shot run, there's yeah, I think you were right. There's first mojo. There's like three or four. I think mojo must be four then. Yeah, it's three or four, but there's first appearances in that series. All right, MT is in at 36. Jeff Silversmith keeps coming at 40. That sleepwalk was kind of hot for a minute. Yeah, they, yeah. Didn't, know, they didn't know if they were going to use him in the, in the Hulu story. Yeah, they still could use him. And they do some stuff on Marvel Hulu. All right. So it's just, it's really just between MT and Jeff Silversmith. MT's maybe thinking. I will say this though, man. Our Adam says his signature is trash. Like it ain't. He just <laughs> he just does like, like a double, little double A, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just does like a little squiggle. It's like he doesn't even care. When he put the date on there for you, it's a mess with you. I gave I gave him a bunch of books and and he started out not putting the date on there, but then he kind of realized what he was doing and he started putting the date on the other second half of them. I was like, dang. <laughs> but yeah, he uh. I don't like when the, when they do the date. I think Scott Snyder does a date also. 
All right, MT's at 42. Jeff Silversmith is at 45. <laughs> MT is probably like, you SOB. <laughs> 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 yeah, I get a little bit higher, MT. Just knock them out the races, man. Hey, who that is? Uh, is uh, Peter Laird? He's doing any signings anytime that you know of? Uh, yeah, they're retired. I mean, every now and then, don't you see him pop up somewhere? I mean, he hadn't. He his last signing was last year in 2019, but mm -hmm. I don't know if he's doing any. Yeah, he's not doing any signing. Signing. He he really retired. Like uh, Kevin Eastman even did an interview today uh -huh. for this at con on Instagram, and he was talking about how uh, they're doing a Ronin number one, and he really didn't. He he wanted. He's he's involved, but not involved. He's like he's happy being retired. Oh man, dude, you can't just sit on your butt all day. Hey, man, the guy can, they can do what he want, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I know, but like, dude, I mean, I don't know. I'm just upset it's because probably, like, it's hard to get those guys together, and especially hard, I think, yeah. not to get Peter Laird's signature. Yeah, it's it's, it, it's going to be extremely difficult to get him for a while. I, you know, I would say you got to wait like maybe five or ten years, and then he'll probably be like, all right, you know, that's when you're going to know something's wrong because he's going to be like going everywhere. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, who, I mean, uh, 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 Roma Curtis, we have a winner. It goes to Jeff Silversmith for 45 MT folds. Yeah, if it's in the hot 50. I split the shipping with you because I got to move you to a bigger box. I'm forgetting you got to come in a box and I'll pay for most of the shipping. So just straight 50, Jeff. Straight 50. Straight All right. 50. This is, uh, <clears throat> is going to be it for me. I got one more round to do, and then I know the guys want to get on with their lives and go home. So Man, I'm off tomorrow. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I got another. We'll, we'll do Silver Age, uh, Disney again. A lot of these are in pretty nice shape, especially with the with the Golden Age lot that I had. Um, where well, I'm gonna start this off at 20, and if it gets up to 25, I'll add another book. So every five, I'll add a book. These are all 10 and 12 centers, and uh, I'm gonna start out with these four. Starting bid is going to be for 20 and we'll do uh, $9 shipping. I got, now this is interesting. I got Uncle Scrooge number five. His first issue was number four. They started out with number four because he, his, his Uncle Scrooge number one was in like, uh, uh, it was in like a, a four color comic. And then he didn't have a number two until like four or five years later. But his his first one on his own that was titled Uncle Scrooge was actually number four. This is number five. This is from 1954. This is a uh, golden age comic. It's about a VG, VG plus. I have another 10 center, uh, number 23. This is from 1958. This is about a VG. This one is a nice copy. Um, and these are these are really under starting prices, really under compared to what these books typically sell on eBay. It's another ten center from 1959. Yeah, about a VG fine copy. It's number 24, Uncle Scrooge number 24. And we'll do this one. This is about a V fine plus VF. It's about a 7.0, 7 7.3. I mean 7.5. 7.3. So about a 7.0, 7.5. This is number 45 from 1963. So starting bid is going to be $20. And uh, I got a lot to add to this, but these are all 10 and 12 centers. This is about a VG, VG plus 4.0, 4.5. This is Uncle Scrooge number five from 1954. This is a Golden Age comic. Appreciate that uh, comics addiction. So he went up 25. So now I'm going to add this. It's another 12 center. This is uh, number 47. This is from 1964. And so for every five, I'll add another book, which is a really good deal in my opinion. I really should be asking. <laughs> I really should be asking for more. Uh, this is number 23 from 1958. 
So you got a Golden Age comic and, and a bunch of 10 and 12 centers. This is number 24 from 1959. Really nice. Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to stop the timer. Actually, let me take off a minute just because I'm rambling. Um, I got number 45 from 1963. This is about a uh, fine plus VF copy. You guys can go on eBay and look if you want, but it's kind of all over the all over the place. Um, at about five dollars a piece, it's still very very undervalued. Um, this is number forty seven from nineteen sixty four. Okay, so Comics Edition wants to see, so I'll add this one as well. This is number fifty three from nineteen sixty four. This is about a fine fine plus, fine fine plus. Wow, he's he knows what's up. If if he's smart, he'll he'll get all that I have because I I think it's a steal. So this is a golden age. This is from 1954, number five. This is Uncle Scrooge number five. His first one that was titled Uncle Scrooge was in number four. Oh, he wants to go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll add these two in. Um, I'll add in uh, uh, number 57. Uh, via this is about an 80. It's about a VF copy from 1965. I'll add this one, number 57, and I'll add number 64 from 1966. This is about a, a VG copy, about a 3.5, 4.0. I do too, comics addiction. Um, I have some that I'm keeping for my own PC. Um, I'll, I'll reveal what those are when uh, I get them back from CGC. But uh, right now, these are all in play. I think a lot of guys are missing out. They don't really know what's going on here. But this is from 1954. This is a Golden Age 10 center, number five. Okay, he wants to see more. I got more for him. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to add here in a minute. Here's number 23. Here's another 10 center. This is about a Fiji fine copy from 1959, number 24. This is number 45 from 1963. And you know what? Uh, you bring up a good point, Comics Edition, because I think a lot of these, I have to double check, but I think a lot of these, it might be the 15 centers, but some of them ha even have Mark Jewelers inserts. So this is number 47 from 1964. So this is number 53 from 1964. Number 57 from 1965. Number 64 from 1966. We're going to add this, which is an early gyro. Remember gyro, the inventor? Early gyro appearance from 1968. This is number 75. This is in there. And I'm going to add this one. Uh, it's a 15 center, but it's still Silver Age because it's 1968. Now, y'all remember Disney usually has a hefty price because it's, it's it's always been considered like a premium product um so i think that they were probably even among some of the first maybe even before marvel that went 15 cents before marvel did because this is 1968 it's still considered silver age because of the year but this is number 76 this is actually vf plus near mint minus i have this at a vf plus near mint minus pretty high grade for a book from the 60s dang so big shout out to uh jeff silversmith uh with the 20 dollars super chat i'll highlight that in a minute as soon as uh stream lag kind of catches up but i'm seeing it first on the uh on the uh I got a lot, bro. I got a, uh, I got, I got, so all the Silver Age, which, okay, so all the Silver Age I have left, which are 15 centers. I got one, two, three, four, five, six more to add if you want them all. They're all 15 centers and they go to 1969. After that, you get in the Bronze Age. And I don't have those with me. So those are those that have to come up another time. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six more. So, um, if you want to do another $30, I'll add all those in. Um, 
and the total would be what six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so it would be 16 books total and it would have to be 15 shipping just because it's too much i, I can't ship it off for nine dollars i'd have to put it in a uh to be honest i'd probably have to put it in a medium flat rate uh priority box so if you want to if you want to just do 40 instead of 45 i can do that and you'll get all 16 books and you'll be covered shipping and you'll have my entire Walt Disney Silver Age Silver Age uh yeah books yeah or, yeah something like something like a collection yeah something like a collection <laughs> something like a collection uh thank you Jeff Silversmith we really appreciate it he says did his first comic book stream today just showing some auction wins and opened a box Hero, oh, maybe some guys oh, from the panel. Go sub up Jeff Silver Smith, man. Everybody sub up Jeff Silver Smith. Yeah, for real. I'm gonna sub, sub him up up everybody soon. in the chat. Y'all can even sub up who that? Yeah, man, sub me up, man. I need it, bro. I'm at nine something. I don't know, like forty away from a thousand. Let's go. Whoa. Let's get it. All right, I'm on fire. I got two subs today. I'm on fire. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm on fire, y'all. I got two subs. Today. Contest, I'm I'm on contest, but I ain't giving away 10 slabs like Chad or CG. I ain't got money like that. Man, I missed that today. I was, I was, I was not. I missed it too. I was kind of, <laughs> I missed it too. All right, so, so Jane, okay, so JMT photo. So, here's what we'll do I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 16. Um, so we'll say $90 total shipped. And let me just show you what I'm adding real quick. And we'll finish out. I know the guys want to leave. Um, so here's the last few books. 15 Center, 76, 1968. Um, this one is about a VF Plus, number 78 from 1968. This is uh, a VF Plus number 79 from 1969. This is uh, number 80. It's a VF condition from 1969. I have uh, number 81. It's a VF Plus from 1969. All Silver Age, even though it's at, they say 15 centers. This is VF, VF Plus number 83. And the last one is about a VF, VF Plus. This is number 84 from 1969. So congratulations, be $90. Friends and family, please, $90, and that's shipping included. And uh, I'll get this sent out to you uh, by Tuesday at the latest. All right, so that being said, we'll go ahead and do final thoughts and shout outs so the guys can get going. And uh, let me see here. We'll go, we'll start with, uh, start with uh, HGM Law. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Edward, for having me on. Thanks to the panel. Thanks to the chat. Had a real good time. Um, I will do my best to have the books out to you out this week, hopefully by Tuesday, no later than that. And then I can try to hit you up with tracking numbers. But uh, be patient. I've got like 20 lots to send out. So, but again, thank you again, Edwin. And we'll see you next time. All right, cool. And uh, our A-lister, Adrian. Uh, what thanks, say you, man. sir? What's that? <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for bidding. Appreciate it. Uh, hope you had a fantastic time and you enjoyed our company because we sure as hell enjoyed your company. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, be sure to subscribe. I can throw my, my YouTube channel in the chat for you if you haven't already. You know, shameless self promotion. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, at 500 subs, I'll be doing a big giveaway for some slabs and all kinds of stuff and things. So, yeah, stay tuned. And, you know, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right, cool, man. Thanks for being on board and being able to fill in a spot. Uh, so, we're going over to Nolans, to Who That Comics and Movies. What's up, man? What's up, everybody? All right, first off, appreciate you, Evan. Appreciate the panel. Man, we had a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to have try to have people stuff out 
tomorrow, but don't count on it because I'm going to pack up. I mean, I am off, but I'm going to try my best. So I'm going to pack up as much as I can, get you your tracking numbers. If I don't have you on IG, I'll put it through your email. Um, this is the type of stuff you get when you have a daughter. I have a star on me. So um, <laughs> the star has noticed that I kept doing this and I kept looking. Oh, yes. so, uh, yeah, so I'll get everybody's stuff out soon. Uh, sub everybody up, man. Um, you know, spread the love out. Everybody has good, good you know, good channel, good stuff. Uh, like I said, when I get to a thousand, I'll do like some kind of giveaway. Uh, I have at least two slabs I'm gonna give away, possibly in a uh, turtles number two second print, but it's a turtles number two second print. Um, so that'll be uh, it'll be pretty, you know, that's just some of the stuff that I got. Um, shout out to everybody else who's doing these auctions, man. You got Chad or G on Fridays, you got. Yeah, you either got thorough or you got the lion's den on Saturday. We, we, you know, we had the affordable that turned into the unaffordable auction on Sundays. You know, <laughs> Big E's and them got the Tuesday more laughs than buys. I'm just joking around, guys. But, um, and then, oh, shout out to Joker M21, man. He's doing his first auction, I think, Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken, uh -huh. Wednesday. Yeah, so was, check, yeah, check him out. He's got like Josh Grab and yeah, yeah, auction you know. every day of the week. Yeah, yeah, and I got mine Thursday, so there you go. And Thursday, I got an auction yep. slash claim sale. And, you know, we try to do a mix on mine. But it's, you know, claim sale, sale, auction, but it's a little fun. It's usually a little, you know, about five, I think five central. I start mine, go for two to three hours, you know, so have some fun. But, yeah, thank you again, Edwin, man. Congratulations to, you know, on the, on the balloon. <laughs> oh, so, <nice>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just messing around. So, thanks again, man. Y'all have a wonderful night. Be safe, and uh, uh, if I don't see anybody, I'll talk to people. Have a happy July Fourth. All right, thanks for being on board, man. And uh, AJ Smith, I got your email with your address. Thank you so much. Last but certainly not least, uh, Roman Curtis. That boy, that dude. That yeah, dude. I, gotta wait. I got a headache like hell though, but um. Hey, shout out to the panel. Good to see you fellas here tonight. Shout out to Edwin for having this 40th uh, affordable auction. So yep. to show some love. I'm trying to catch let from, you know, behind paws. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Even though you said pause, I don't think that's going to get a pause, triple pause, 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 triple pause. pause, pause. <laughs> Adrian, shout out to the the, the, the that uh, Creo accent. That was the bomb tonight. That was, that was the best accent you ever did. I, I like that one. You and her, <laughs> when that, you know, Edwin broke it up. You know, it was going good there to the to the. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't forget to look out for everybody this week. It's three auctions on uh Monday, two on <laughs> Tuesday, and don't forget, you know, that's that's Beth Barbarian on Tuesday early, and the world famous <laughs> Warriors on uh. Tuesday evening and Wednesday, it's another two or three auctions. I can't remember who. Yeah, Meta and Z Collects and our yeah. yeah. Thursday, I'm, gonna be, I'm trying to be with who that hey. But what you nearly need to do is watch for the weekend. I don't know what people are doing this weekend because it's holiday weekend and the fourth is on Saturday. So mm -hmm. we, yeah, I don't know the schedule for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday at all right now as far as this. Oh, I don't stop, bro. I don't stop. Well, you 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 good. Yeah. You're, you're on the fifth, so you should be good, but Saturday night and Friday, I don't, I don't know what people are doing. Man, he heard that one, boy. He like, he like bad boy. He don't stop. We don't stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking forward to the claim and sale, the claim auction, and don't forget my man, Gang Swappers. <laughs> <laughs> On Wednesday, my man, Gang Swappers. <laughs> He does IG on Wednesdays with my man, the letdown. The letdown, because less than all. The letdown, I think it's like 8 o'clock on Wednesday. But don't forget, game swapper. <laughs> game swapper. And big shout out to my man, Joker, coming through with for the first time this week, this big auction. Other than that, I'm done. I'm tired. Call it back. I got to pay people because I owe people money. Lord help me. Oh, man. It's never good when we owe people money, is it? Um, all right, guys, thank you so much. I want to thank everybody on the panel for being a part of this. Uh, yeah, it's our 40th 
affordable auction. Thank you for the congrats for getting my new job. Uh, hopefully I'll start soon. And um, thank you everybody in the chat. Thank you for all the, 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 what you might call it, the, uh, the super chats and people who donated money and just everybody who showed up in the chat, bought books. Thank you so much. And thank you, uh, uh, Harold for the two giveaways uh, that you so generously did. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll check everybody out here next Sunday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Everybody have a great week. We'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. I need some motion. <laughs>